everybody stepped up uh, and doing great. I want to give a shout out to uh, Martin and Sherry who recreated everyone's blends specifically. There's Sherry, lay it, lay it right there. <laughs> Thank you for being with Here, us. Yes. Here's the view they were seeing. Oh, here we go. We're, we're, we're showing the view you would have saw if uh, we so were like, wait, in the just, right location. You need to put it right behind your head. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, that All looks right. great. It looks really good. Yes. Yay, Danny. So uh, while we are getting reset and everything, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's helped out. And uh, another shout out to... Uh, uh, BPB, Big Papa Brad, for uh, making all of this happen as well. Uh, he, uh, he worked so hard to make this good for you guys. Uh, this is about your experience, and uh, he's worked very hard, and uh, as have I, and we've done it together. Uh, but he really cares about this experience for you guys. It means a lot, so... Uh, I just want to say thank you. And I don't have any wine or champagne in my hand, and this is really Danny. A we will fix that. We but will somebody fix that. will fix it for want me. Some I am sure. Um, I have champagne. I need a glass, please. Coming up. Here, there's somebody will get a glass. Oh. We, can, we can do a regular glass, but that's not classy. Uh, Freddie, come here. Fred. Oh. Come on, Freddie. We want to get your dog. I haven't seen Brad come in. Come on, Fred. Come on, sweetheart. We're trying to get Freddie out. We need a Freddie sighting up in here because I can only really talk for so long before. Uh... <laughs> All right, you've got you've held it down perfectly. I've held it down. You've done a great job. Okay, we need I a will few be... more glasses. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Where'd that chamois go for Danny? I got it. Danny, I can pour Reef my own chamois here. There we go. And here's one for Brad for palate cleansing. Awesome. Okay, I'll put that there. I'll, I'll Everybody's you know. saying hi, Danny. <laughs> Everybody's been saying hi to me. They're tired of me already. They want you guys back. We're already past that. And you know, Brad, if you want to start with what the vintages were and the things again, people are asking for people okay. who are tuning in late. It might be a great Perfect. way to restart the fun. That sounds great. It does sound fun. Absolutely. And they'll be ready to go in about uh, three or four minutes. We'll get that done. Uh, those are great questions. Uh, thank you guys. Keep bringing the questions in and uh, we will answer them as we possibly can. Uh, we're not going to tell you uh, who was who until uh, the end, but we will um, keep working on that. Absolutely. All right, so uh, for those of you, uh, a lot of people uh, said that yellow, uh, were, they were thinking was Zin. Um, unfortunately, that's a Merlot knot. Eh. Um, yellow was Merlot. Uh, that comes from the uh, Lost Goat uh, Vineyard. It is a, a very, very small boutique vineyard up on the mountainside, beautiful western facing slope, produces a really spicy, intense Merlot. Uh, and it was fun for me to uh, let you guys uh, try some of that. That uh, goes into the sister uh, typically. And then we have our other absolutely fantastic Merlot that comes uh, from the uh, Flatland wine right there as you're uh, going out to the river. Freddie's really struggling. He's had a Aww. long day and he got to run around and have some fun. There he is. Uh, but uh, so there was the uh, Merlot. Merlot was yellow. Pink was Malbec. So both Malbec and Merlot were 2017. Malbec, bright and fruity, good acid, excellent structure. Uh, again, all these wines were on neutral oak so that I didn't overwhelm you with an oaking uh, regiment on that. And then we had a uh, green. Green was Cabernet Sauvignon. And that Cabernet Sauvignon was 2017. So we had a nice three-year-old cab uh, that was uh, amazing, uh, but did not have a mass amount of tannins uh, from being over oaked, but it was great structurally uh, throughout the wines. Um, and then the, the big dark wine was the Petite Verdot. So the orange was Petite Verdot. And um, I'm going to do one last little palate cleanser before we get started. Freddie says, that sounds fantastic. We'll get that checked out. Mm. I hope it's okay. We also got some good. Uh, pulled pork sandwiches that I made. Freddie, who's here? Why are people arriving at this point? Are people Cody. leaving? All right. That sounds good. All right. Uh-oh, it's the feds. We got the feds. Oh, man, the helicopters were here earlier. All right. 
All right. After all of this, uh, again, uh, thank you to everybody that's made this happen and to our uh, lovely guests and helpers. Oh. And uh, Takes a village. Brad, thank you. Oh. I mean, you've only worked just a little hard for this thing. But, we, we, uh, it, uh, but I always work hard. Yeah. Uh, it's important to me to put out super fantastic wines. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to be doing an event, especially something like this, um, I want to make sure that it's uh, going off without a hitch. And so, unfortunately, um, I don't own the internet. I don't make the internet, no. and I can't fix that hitch. But we've got. Uh, I think. I think everybody here has done an amazing job. We Absolutely. have got so many moving parts. And for those of you that have seen actually or been to us uh, while we're producing these things, you can see 35 people moving around in the background, making sure that all the moving parts are working perfectly. Right. And uh, that didn't change. Now we have more uh, people working to make sure that this uh, comes out and um, is a lot of fun. Absolutely. So, all right, you guys have a lot of judging to do, so I will. You're uh, here. You're not moving. Oh so, no, I'm doing the judging. All yeah. right. I thought. So was back. what we're gonna do is we are moving on. Uh, what region am I moving to? So we're moving into uh, region number three, okay. and we're moving into tables uh, seven, eight, and nine. And um, I believe I've got those things right here. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out my little All cards. All right. I seven, got some eight, cards nine. here. There we go. We've got enough cards. That's fantastic. Beautiful. We've got an M, 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 and then All we've right. got M -M -M. an L, 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 and then okay. we've got a card that won't come apart, and then so we've got the A, A, M, M A, A, A. All right. But I think I'm going to start with the M, M, M. Okay. Uh, it just happens to be the one closest to me, so that's what we're going to do. All right. One last little swish. A little swirl. I've got my palette ready to go. Cool. We're ready for some more fun and excitement. Good. Uh, and while we did that, uh, we were working on Facebook. And so is Facebook actually uh, operating properly before Everybody, we get started? No, we I mean, we had, I, I sat there Facebook. and talked for 20 minutes and Facebook's not working. We had 20 minutes of uh, fixing things. <laughs> All right. So I do have 35 people working for me, but apparently we can't get that whole thing uh, happening. Oh, so go. I'm going to hold on for just a second. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. And you're going to. Uh, All work right. On can that. everybody hear so us now? So this is what I would like: is that I would love that uh, of the 35 people that we have here helping out. That um, every couple of minutes, everybody makes sure that all those things are Good. working. Okay. So that would be yeah. really, really cool if we could uh, know when things are happening. All right. All there right. we go. All right. So we're starting with MMM. We are. All right. Go, Jenny, go. Thank you. Okay. All right, beautiful color, which all of them really are, and uh, you know you are. It's you're <laughs> you're preaching the choir. Uh, I don't care if it's darker or lighter. Right. All these colors are just exquisite. They're Absolutely. very nice. None of them are over oxidized. No, none of them are weak and anemic. Uh, they are all uh, good, strong colors. Mm. Okay. okay. Thank we you. Are good. Thank you. Beautiful nose. So welcome back, Facebook. I'm sure that Grady's going to really be focused on making sure that Facebook is rocking and rolling for you guys. And we're going to try to keep you guys um, live again, back and forth. Today, we're obviously struggling with these things. Um, so if you lose us on one um, platform, mm. uh, slide over to the other. But we really need to be focused on watching when we drop out. Okay. Hmm. What are you getting off the nose right away? I'm getting a kind of like a candied cherry. Yeah, I uh, was going to say cherry, yeah. Right up front, uh, but it's a brighter uh, cherry. This is not a dark cherry rolling right. into plum. Yep. Not getting any uh, dusty uh, action in there. No. Little cream? Am I, am I, am I, am I wrong on that? <laughs> Maybe hints. Mm. Okay. But this is why I have other people because other people notice things that I don't not getting a lot of cream but I can okay. see uh, I can see you getting some creamy notes in there okay mm. 
Yeah, oh. I, can, I can find a little bit of that oh. in there. But it, it's definitely wine. much more of a, of a nice, just strong cherry. Okay. A little bit of earthy undertones. I like it. Okay, very nice. Okay. It is a brighter color. I'm getting some stronger acid. So the younger oh. wines are giving me some uh, stronger acid. Okay. So it's kind of uplifting on the palate. Mm hmm I'm getting a nice uh, medium cherry, but I'm getting a real nice bright cherry as it's taking off towards the finish. Oh, that finish is beautiful. But I always I always go right to the finish because that's where, uh, you know, I, I, I that's where I go. So. It's a good place to go. It is. How, how's the beginning? It's a, it's, it's a good, oh, I'm, I'm liking it. The, the nose uh, leads in the beginning, leads in the mid palate. Okay. Everything's looking really good. Everything's staying nice and uplifted, but I am noticing that there's a little drop off from the mid to the okay. finish okay. on this wine. And so um, I'm getting a, just a little drop off on the end. Again, we're splitting hairs. Right. Um, if, if the finish could just elongate just a, a little bit more. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to give a little extra plus the nose because I'm getting some nice spice. That nose spice. is beautiful. I'm getting some nice spice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm gonna bring the nose up one uh, little notch there. Okay. That nose does translate to the beginning and middle. Mm -hmm. Really nice wine all the way around. I wonder if this was, this might have been the, everybody was busting my chops when I, uh, I think it was table, which, there was uh, some comments that I made about Thanksgiving. Is this the Thanksgiving no, table? I, I don't I, know. I, I don't know, but I'm getting some really nice uplifting cherries, really fantastic. Uh, the tannins aren't strong here. So these tannins are gonna be great. They're, the good ass is gonna balance right. the fats with your Thanksgiving day meal. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have heavy tannins, so your I, turkey, your beans, Right, I things. don't need a big steak for this wine. Mm. This wine will no. go very this nicely. Is, this is uh, lighter on the tannins. The, Not a yeah. good thing or a bad thing, it's just no. a thing. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've missed annoying tannins, but we bought up, brought up some more flavor. Okay. On M M M M. All right. So what are we doing next? Uh, we're going to go to LLL -L -L next. Okay. And I do have that ready to go. So we got LLL. -L -L. Okay. Does that work on remasters that we are? Awesome. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, regional thank people. You. Not pulling a wrong line in the wrong region yet. All right. So we've got the L's. Oh. Leather. Oh, a little leather. Okay. It's, it's a little leather. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this isn't as bright and fruity. It's like a dust nose. It's, it's like, a, it's like uh, Randy dropped his uh, Dolce & Gabbana into the dirt and forgot to pick it up. All right, we went through them a couple times. We'll do it again. All right. So we've got Malbec and Merlot, 2019, okay. Young Wines. We have Petit Verdot and Cabernet Sauvignon, or 2017. The question was, what were the vintages again? So there they are again. All right, so we are back on LL. LL, okay. This is a bigger wine. This is a bolder wine, for sure. Oh. Just really stuck in the leathery zone. I'd like a no. little. I'd like a little more fruit. I'd like a little more fruit. I'm liking the leather. The leather's a, a fun, a wonderful flavor. I'm liking it, but uh, I'm not getting a lot of cherries or plums or strawberries either. in there. No, it's very leathery. Okay. Right after that, we bring up some wonderful spice, beautiful spicy cherries, um, getting some plums. Oh, 
Uh, that darker note that you were picking up, uh, the tannins I'm picking up in the yeah, mid palate. Middle, definitely on the tannins. Yeah. Um, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. I'm just picking up some tannins in the mid palate. But are they are they blocking? They're the not. They're not sticking around. I feel like they're not sticking around. Are they not Which sticking not around thing. and not fixing the finish? So the finish should have some good tannins and some structure okay. in there. There is a drop off in this wine. A little bit. Uh, from the middle to the finish, but then all of a sudden some darker fruit flavors come in. I'm getting yeah. some spice. Um, that leather uh, that was in the nose is actually translating to the finish, okay. which is making this wine very interesting to me, even though it's sort of one dimensional. A little bit. Interesting, but I'm getting a lot of leather up the front and a lot of leather on the finish. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting. It kind of just it stays. There. I would love yeah. some cherries right. and some uh, plums to to come along. Okay. Overall, it's a great wine. I I do enjoy it very much. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bump out. Oh, yeah, we're splitting hairs. It, it really is, uh, and they're two completely different wines. We I have... mean, from MMM to LLL. I mean, I know I I, I have a feeling which bases they use. And I'm not saying one's better than the other, but I think I know. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely, you should. Yeah. All right. All right. What's the last one? Are we a -A -A. moving on? A A A. Okay. Hey. 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 Okay. What's the color? Color is uh, dark and rich, like all the other ones. There's nothing light about any of these colors. Mm. And then might have been a little lighter than this. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I can, well, I'm, well, I've got know. the I got the benefit. Oh, well, right. You have them I in front of you. I can still see them. Yeah. <laughs> but they're all on the darker side. Yes. Uh, M is definitely lighter. These last two are darker. Okay. All right. First impression on the nose. You have a first impression. Spice. I'm getting more spice than the other two on the nose overall. A lot. Does spice mean more flavor? Uh, not fruity sp spice. Like, you is know. it more balanced? Is there some spice along with a note? Not leading questions, just serious questions. So with spiciness, does that mean that you have more complexity? I would say so. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, so not overly we've fruity. We've added a little spice yep. characteristic to the nose that's giving those uh, cherries and plums something more than cherry and plum. Okay. So that would, to me, lead it to be more complex. Mm. I know. Oh. I like this nose. Mm. Mm. Oh. Even some creaminess on the palate. This yeah. wine, um, from front to back, I'm getting some more interest. This I'm is more come back interesting. I, I really, this one is, is telling the story. So I'm getting the, the creamy in the middle. It starts off just beautiful, and then it finishes very nicely. Uh, it doesn't lose anything. Uh, it's got a little, it, it's got the tannins, but not overly tannic. Um, but it's got the fruit and the creamy, and then it finishes very nicely. I like this. Okay. Well, like this one, the others two. spice, cream, plum, yeah. cherry. Um, I'm getting those in different levels. Yeah. All the way through the wine. All right, so the other wines need to really step it up uh, yeah, to, that, um, to bring this one. AAA was really good. Oh. All right, so we're going to go back. I'm going to revisit The MMM. first one, MMM. Yeah, I'd like to revisit that as well. Oh, you want to? I do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. I'm, I'm 
getting them. I'm gonna give it a plus, a little more plus than those. The nose on because the first, yes. I just got sort of like a raspberry cream. Okay. Up front on the nose, which really excited me. Mm. And it's still there. Yeah, I'm getting raspberries mixed in with the, absolutely the, raspberries is, in the got, mid. We've got raspberries. Yeah. All right. And this is an overall very balanced wine. Okay. I really Good. like this. is It's smooth. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm giving a little extra, little, maybe, I give it mm. eyebrows. They were like, wow. I'm, um, uh, Adjusting the mid up. Okay. Because the mid is bringing in some spicy excitement. I'm, yep. Let me get the finish. Okay. Because we had everything moving up, and for me, uh, the finish uh, wasn't there. But a strong, good nose. You have to finish. If the finish can, um, if the finish can impress me, this wine is a strong possibility of moving on. The finish, I'm getting a little more on the, the the front of the tongue, and it's it's it's. I'm getting juicy. There. I'm getting juicy. Uh, what's crazy is actually the beginning is holding. I'm getting mid strong cherry, but the the beginning is giving me some brighter juicy flavors, and then uh, it circles back around on the finish. Those brighter juicy flavors come up. Okay. I concur. That is beautiful. That's um, that one. Uh, that one's coming up in the. That one's moving up in the ranks. Okay. It's kind of a little jumble of kind of jumble. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I don't know. Uh, I think your notes are on point. Okay. All right. And we're going to go to LLL. LLL. This is the one I've got in front of me. That's yep. the one that's next. Okay. Right. Do you want to just give me your overall impressions? Well, let's see. Uh, LLL. Let me, let me get my notes on point. Um, I thought I ranked it. The nose was good, not not overly exciting. Uh, some cherries, some fruit, but um, the beginning and middle I like. The finish was just not there for me compared to the other two. Still a beautiful wine. This was leathery, leathery Leather, right. on the nose, and this was leathery on the finish. Good tannins. Good structure, but I'm looking for. I, I, I actually the wine. This is not a bad thing. The wine's leaving me wanting more. I know this wine can give me more. I'm suspecting age uh, is going to let those leathery notes mellow out, and the fruitier notes are going to come out. Okay. And we haven't had a lot of leather. Uh, no. So um, I don't recall actually. Calling, um, describing this wine as leathery right. um, on the day that I judged it. Um, if any of the uh, gallery can remember, uh, did I uh, call any of the wines leathery? I don't recall. I was there the whole time. Um, I don't remember. All right. So let's go back to the, uh, the uh, AAA. AAA. I'm getting, I'm getting more tannins for sure. Are you uh, cleansing your palate and getting ready, sir? Yeah, because the other one was so dominating on the leather. This one, the cherries are uplifting. Absolutely. And dark cherries. Yeah. Dark, yeah, dark, yeah, dark, yeah, dark, yeah. dark. Stewed. Got yeah. them right before the birds did. Mm, so this is one of those wines. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I got that cherry. It was super cherry. ripe on the tree. Right. All right. We're going to have to calm down on the cherries over there, everyone. Ah. Tannins, tannins, and the structure. Mm -hmm. Loving it. I am loving it. This is this is a big wine. This is a bigger wine. I can see why this won a table. Uh, this is a dominant wine. But is it as elegant as the first? Is it, one? Give, is it giving me some subtlety? I, I don't know. I don't know. No. 
There's just no to the cheese. It's okay, Hanson. Mm. Oh, that's good, though. And I would like a steak with that. All right, what are your what are your thoughts on this? I think it's um Yeah, if you don't stay around, you don't get a car or get to be on TV. Um so it's probably in the these these two are the ones that I'm that I'm looking at the Absolutely. AA and the MMM. Absolutely. Nice rich fruity nose and i know that i bumped and then this one i can look at my notes the finish was a little weak but the, the finish is strong it came back on this. It came back yep this one high notes all the way through. absolutely okay i've got to get a little more mm -hmm. so i can get some nose and i'll give it some swirl to give it some time because this might come down to the nose again let's see right. uh this one i've got enough to do a taste a swirl and a sniff. So this is which this one This is doing? the uh, this is the M's that you I just poured. Right yeah, I got it right here. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm. Dang it. This is lighter and brighter. This one's darker and richer. Absolutely. They're both giving me complexity. They're both giving me structure. Mm -hmm. They're giving me a great beginning, a middle, a finish. This one's nose, gosh dang it. I think one was it's a little just... more elegant than the other. And one was a little more powerhouse. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with subtlety, elegance, and nuance. That's what you wanted out of the your wines. Yes. MMM is the winner. MMM! Uh -huh. Woo! <laughs> God dang it. If e any of the, well, first of all, if any of these wines were served to me at any particular dinner, yes. at any particular restaurant, I'd be like, oh my God, you're so fantastic and amazing. Absolutely. This is, this was just, that's, that's, that sucks because both of these wines, were absolutely fantastic. Either one. I don't know. Maybe we got a Cinderella story coming on here uh -oh. with, uh, with well, the AAA. maybe maybe make a little mark on that. You never know. All right, we'll make a little mark. Okay. We'll put the sign of the beast on there. <laughs> and um, but uh, for this one, MMM is the winner. Okay. Silence. All right. He's made no, his decision. No, not silence. Yeah, this is applauding time. Well, people are applauding. I've just been waiting to uh, say it. Come I know, on, give me, give me I know everybody wants to get that in, but when we were applauding for a winner, we'll let it go. Let them, let them win. Let them, let them enjoy right. the excitement. You guys All did right. a great job. That is All awesome. Right. You did a great I'm job. going to... Uh, I need some fresh glassware. Fresh glassware. Fresh glassware. Okay. All right, I'll take these for you. And then uh, I think we have another I guest, Judge. And then uh, let me look at my uh, time frame here. I need to see what my time frame's looking like. And then we need to change up. So we are looking at uh, number four. These all come back Region down here. Region four. Uh, uh, this is okay. right. I had a little box here that was working perfectly. We took it. Yeah, and I, that, that's not good. All right. It is good if it's all uh, under control over it's there. It's okay if we just put all it right. somewhere. That sounds good. All right, everybody's rearranging everything, but we'll we'll figure things out. Yeah, those all should stay in the same uh, little spot over there because I've got to come back to all of those or at least one of those guys. Tell me when you're ready for me. Should we relabel? So no, we're gonna keep them running right through. Okay. Uh, so we are now looking at uh, which one of the uh, regions now. So we've done region three, so we're on region four. four. So we're bringing in. Uh, all of region four, which is 10, 11, and 12. Oh, I want to be for the final. I want to be the final. You can't be. You're going to go in for this one. But what about the That's final? just too bad. All right. Next. <laughs> Who's our next celebrity judge? <laughs> uh, I think we'll bring Martin in for this one. That'd be fantastic. Right, Martin's Marty. in. But you can't be for the final. That's Grady. I'm sorry. I know that's what you wanted, but you can't do it. Maybe oh. we'll have you as a side judge. A side judge. That. That'll be good. Side bets. All right.
right. Mine's that getting sounds better pretty this. good. Um, all right. Uh, so here we go, Martin. All right. So uh, you were working on it with me uh, before. Has this been live we know time? what's going on. Yeah, okay. your your voice is still going through. <laughs> Everyone can and hear you, Randy. And then we'll go ahead and <laughs> see. There's Randy. <laughs> he's he's the one you've been hearing in the background laughing yes. and A making fun of, of Brad. Cherry. That's uh, been that's been Randy. So uh, so what's important, Martin, is that we're going to be uh, working on these lines. And we're going to be uh, judging these wines against each other. Yes. These wines have all made it through uh, from one round of competition. This is their second round of competition. And so um, we're not going to judge them on how we judge. You're not going to mm -hmm. judge on the wines you tasted uh, a couple Probably of days previously, ago. Right? These are going to be judged on these three wines. What's the best of the day at this time? And I believe these three regions were very, very difficult in and of themselves, if I remember correctly. This was at the end. Yes. Uh, Toward the end of the on, day, on it was, it was yes. so tough. Um, their uh, teams 11 and 12 had anomalies. If we remember correctly, they were the only ones. That all of the team members used only three varietals. Yes, that was we had uh, cool. some three varietal versus yep. uh, four yep. varietal. Uh, if I remember correctly, nobody did um, a two varietal. Yep. Nobody did a two varietal brand. Um, half of the winners were three varietals and half of the winners were four varietals, which I thought was astounding. Sorry, I was going to choke on that. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's astounding. Uh, it is. <laughs> Martin, take over for a minute. Yeah, it's okay. Um, what else do we know about some of these wines? I'm the... going gonna to die. I was trying to cleanse my palate. <laughs> He's about to Possibly <laughs> inhaled. Oh, you don't want to inhale. No, you just want to he, uh, pulled pork. Inhaled pulled pork. That's, uh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Pulled pork's going to go on one of my mm -hmm. next um, cooking videos. All you folks out there that are waiting for the next cooking videos, uh, my pulled pork is going to uh, be in there. It's so similar to the chili birdie, uh, with the exception it's not birdie, so but we're going to be good. focusing on the pork. And I, I don't do pork that much, but I, I do pork here. Man, oh, man. Freddy Some of the says, unders, you ever see little Freddie over here? Freddie's been hiding. When, when uh, Brad and <laughs> Danny were here, Freddie was just hiding right here between them. It was hilarious. He's a very sweet boy. All right. That blends my palate. All right. You're feeling better? So another interesting thing about uh, the blends is that when I, uh, I think I, we, we talked about it last time, but all of the winners were so different that the, 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 the blends are all over the board, which is just exciting. Does make it more exciting? That is absolutely true. Uh, and I'm kind of curious on how what, what my palate is um, enjoying mm -hmm. today. Um, is a little bit colder, it was a little warmer that day. Right. This is, this is what the deal is. Um, what you're bringing up is a really fascinating thing. So uh, we have analytics on how we were, uh, how I was judging wines uh, this time. And very interesting on, uh, trying to be as true to judging the table and, and what wines are coming through. But what was crazy is that very different wines came through on each table, yep. uh, which was awesome. Even though there was some similar, um, we were within like five to 10% on some of the wines, you know, that didn't make it. Still had different, uh, different flavors. But uh, at this table, this wine made it with that blend. Right. And uh, that makes me really excited. Uh, because uh, that tells me that the blends are very interesting and goes yeah. back to what I'm always saying is that uh, four or five percent can actually uh, make a difference between a winner and a loser. On, I think on those. I think that's been the surpri most surprising thing to me is seeing the differences and seeing that uh, we've, we there was a uh, one of the blends what um, had five percent of something and a similar blend had not zero and there was a big big difference in, the, in on my I, judging I, yeah big uh, difference i like this I, i'm assuming i liked one more than the other correct correct and, i'm not going to say yeah, which one but, is uh, which but yeah there was just there was just a and uh, i tasted it myself and i just could not believe that just a five percent difference so i wasn't faking that. it no you weren't faking it oh my god well what's hilarious is we've been tracking all of his comments of like uh, past ones and Don't track he's, my comments. he's dead on every time though that's the thing Oh, this was this one. Yes, that. Oh, was that so one. do track. My yeah, yeah. No, we're Sorry. you're we're verifying that what you're and saying. What is, I what I'm saying about the wine, you're you're getting the same thing. Absolutely, and, and you're also consistent with what you said 
Although there's been some new pr- flavor profiles, right? Some leather has come out, some raspberry, right. but for the most part, you've been very consistent in what you said about the blends last time. Oh, really? This time, yeah. But now they're against a different table. Right, so it's a whole new game. And so their problem is, yes, they won the day, the day then, mm-hmm. but now they're going up against, against this. And a completely different blend, like completely different. So, and this is something that I don't know because I, I'm not making the blend so that I can stay uh, completely neutral. Yeah, as... he's, he, we haven't shared too much of like this percentages or anything that with, like that with Brad. Um. Sorry, our gale force yes, winds are All, oh, yes. uh, coming up. Apparently, so we're supposed to get some uh, hurricane is, force if, winds tonight. If so. this is the last day that you see us, uh, we'll then be it's a nice snow. Scattered wind. around the, the, the countryside. <laughs> Maybe I'll show up in uh, Winslow, Arizona. It, it might I might show up in Kansas. That's I right. mean, Toto, I might be in New York. Uh, never apparently, know. we're just never know. We're just going to have some winds coming or up. Or in Africa. We can the get plains there. of Africa. We, we, we can get there. We do, we do. Uh, but actually, uh, Martin's bringing some really fun insight uh, into these things and and uh, makes me happy that um, I'm trying to judge the wines based on what the wines are presented to me. Yep. And this is the problem with, uh, uh, we all have talked about, why don't I put my wines in the harvest fair? Why don't I have the wine speculator and those other jackalopes uh, <laughs> uh, taste my wine? Because those people that judge your wine, they, they don't even know what they're doing. They're not even trying to be objective. And um, going into this whole thing, psyching myself up for objectivity. Of course, I've got my things that I prefer. Uh, and, and you know what they are because I make the wines and you guys enjoy them. Um, but uh, what he's talking about, looking at the analytics on how I'm judging these wines, uh, really taking it seriously and i'm judging the wines based on the ones mm-hmm. that they're up against at that time yep. could it have been if you were at a different table if brad had only put you at table six instead of three yeah. could you have gone uh through and been a winner absolutely everything was that close it, everything was yeah i would agree I would which agree. makes me happy yeah um should we taste some more you know what makes me happy yeah. Is these wines are so danged good? Let's oh, try yeah. some fun wine. Let's try some wine. Um, but what, what I would for? like to do is I need to. I just. Need oh to, yeah, you need your cards. I need to get a couple cards. All right. And I'm gonna get a one and a two. I believe. I, and a. Would three. you like a cold pulled pulled pork? Sorry. Not right now. <laughs> I'm afraid you probably will later. Uh, the first wine I am going to do. Yes, on. first wine. All right. I'm going to get myself ready for CCC. CCC. All right, here we go. All right, CCC. Let's see what's happening here. There you go, man. Freddie has got to be like a normal tasting He is being such a good dog. He's he's very mellow today. I think he's kind of tired because it's been a long week. We've been working working really hard. You know what is weird is that the... Table is super jittery. We need to find out why that table is. Everywhere. Oh yeah, actually in a minute. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's probably really annoying yeah. to you guys. Can you hang on a second because it's annoying <laughs> Hold me. Hold on, you you you, you go that going. way. I'll go this. Way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna separate these two tables. No, se- I'm gonna separate them this way. Okay, I'll separate it that way. Hang yeah. on a second. Yeah, go on that side. Just there it is. Get it off of there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Did right. you miss us? I'm going to shake this. I'm shaking it like a Polaroid and nothing's happening. Hope I wasn't making anybody seasick. Here we go. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. It was a little bit of an earthquake. We're fine now. It is California. Come on. We're on the fault. How, how awesome. Whoa. That would be a, that'd be a nice ending or beginning. Right, right. <laughs> We've had, we had fog and now the rain, a helicopter, a little earthquake, the wind. This wine's brought back some of the earth. Yeah, really. We got some earthy uh, leather in there, like we did at the last table. Yeah, but you didn't you didn't mention the, much leather yesterday or the the, the no time I, before. No, so just within just a short mm-hmm. period of time, because we blended these which two days ago. Two days ago. So, but they also got blended two days early too, which is that's true. Maybe because it's bigger, maybe because it's cooler. Who knows? I think it's Who because knows? it's cooler. Oh, that could be. Uh, because uh, as wines are warmer more alcohol and they're more expressive. And so the fruity notes aren't 
um, is uplifting right now. And so we're getting some of the darker notes. So Ooh. I'm getting, and are you getting that? That's wow. a little bit leathery, right? I mean, there's a little wow. leather, that dustiness yes. to it. And this is, and here's, here's the dealy. O. today's a different day. Mm -hmm. It's colder. It, it is a different Things day. are happening. Um, we've got different perceptions in the wine. Not getting a ton of tannin, just a tiny bit on the back of the a tongue. Nice leathery mm -hmm. cherry. I like. It. And I said it again for those the cherry. That's uh, for the drinking game at home. Every time he yeah. says cherry, you got to take a little sip. That's what okay. we've been doing. I gave him all cherry-based wine. It's kind of hard not to say it like that. Well, it's kind of like Bob Newhart. You know, you just got to you got to go with what works. Mm. Wow. Nose was a little restricted because those leathery notes were taking up a lot of stuff, but I'm getting a lot of uh, a really nice beginning. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. That beginning is sticking with it um, all the way through the mid. Yep. And let me, I, but I was focused on the finish. So now I gotta, I gotta focus on the mid to the finish and see what's going on there. The finish is light, but lingering. Compared, it is yeah. lingering. Still lingers. It's doing some good stuff. Yeah, it's nice and light. It's not overpowering. Yeah. Um, this is very drinkable. This wine this builds very uh, nicely. So you've got a sort of restricted nose. I'm assuming because it's cold. All right, I'm gonna give this guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give this guy some warm love, and I'm gonna let it sit to see if it can build up some more nose, so I can get some cherries or or, or, or some plums or some raspberries in there. Um, all right, we're gonna get that guy warmed up. That was nice. Yeah, this was. I, I like that. I loved how it built. It got this nice building. Got this nice building block uh, to this wine. CCCs here. I think we're gonna go with GGG next. I don't think know I what it try is. Try this with a little bit of um, this Gouda. That's that's a Gouda idea. Gouda idea. Oh, we have markers too. Sorry, sorry for reaching. Okay. Hmm. I'll grab that in just a second. Which one's this? G? No, no. G, G. G, G. You, you enjoy your C's. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do this on my own. Mm -hmm. No, that didn't change that much with that food. That's interesting. Mm. Ooh, this one's a little brighter on the color. Mm -hmm. Now, would you say based on the color, just as curiosity, because you said if it's a little bit more of the orange, so if it's 2017s, you would think that there'd be a little bit more orange There's, around the ring. Is that I'm correct? not getting any. Well, the, the, well, you're looking for oxidation, mm -hmm. and oxidation is going to give itself an orange presence. Um, but neither of these wines are going to give that. Both of these have uh, more of a neon, um, nice, bright mm -hmm. magenta uh, color. I believe that GGG is a slightly darker, mm -hmm. but there's not a big difference in the darkness. Um, but based on color, um, we have a wine that has a, a, a similar base uh, to it because the base is going to give you all of the uh, all of the richness. Uh, this one to me, this is the first time I've had uh, some leather notes back to back. Um, this one is a little leathery to me. Um, as well, so it's a different leather, though. Yes. Oh no, this one's unfortunately for CCC. This one's more interesting. Uh, this one has more flavors to it. So we have the leather, but we're also getting a little bit of cherry and a little bit of spice. Yeah. So instead of the leather dominating right now, and again, uh, but you all are on the same competition level of the fact that it, all these wines are cold. So the noses are going to be restricted, and the fruits going to be restricted, but. Um, I'm having to judge these wines on the day. Oh, wow. Mm. It's a little bit smoother, I think, than CCC. 
Um, ass and tannins probably slightly more in balance. Yeah. Uh, and so I agree with that. Uh, nose is going to get a little bit higher mark than the last. Beginning matches the nose, so I'm not getting a dive or an up. So with that nose and the flavor, so I'm not hitting a low point or hitting a high point. The nose and the beginning are right in balance, which is a great thing. See what's in here. It builds very nicely to me. Um, the beginning, because it matches the nose, I really like. Mm -hmm. And all the way through, I'm getting complimentary flavors. Mm -hmm. Solid. Tannins. Structure. Yeah, um, can, I'm still finish. salivating. I, yeah, well, there's yeah. the acid. This one's got a high yeah. acid. And it's balancing the tannins, and that's why the tannins aren't as noticeable. This is a probably a more powerful wine, but because there's one of those exactly. one of those num one of those younger wines is uplifting those mm -hmm. tannins, so the tannins be don't become annoying. And the higher acid also uplifts the fruit, so that it doesn't end up being a single fruit running all the way through. Mm -hmm. Those acids are bringing some nice brighter notes to it. This is a, a brighter wine at the top, yeah. just from start but to finish. Brighter but elegant, yeah. So those those acids are staying mm -hmm. high, but it has tannins and structure running through. Mm -hmm. And the flavors are interesting running through as they well. Are. They are. It's not just a beginning of a cherry, a middle of a cherry, and then we're getting it up or down. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, getting, I'm getting some variances in the fruit flavors, which is very nice. And I think as that one warms up, it's going to become a little bit even more. This one, I think, is, is also going to be, but this is just a little more intense. Yeah. The, well, because these both had, they're actually going to both go the same direction. Mm -hmm. uh, both of these had that leathery characteristic that I wasn't, characteristic that I was not getting mm -hmm. on Tuesday or Wednesday right. when we had 90 new. degree temperatures. So what's happening as the noses are more closed off and right. restricted, um, both of these wines will elevate themselves with temperature adjustment mm -hmm. and not just the nose the nose and the finish temperature adjustment typically is the the biggest things you're going to find okay. um within a wine um but i think that there's going to be subtlety and nuance that'll come out uh because these are all at a very close cellar temperature like i'm i'm guessing these wines are 56 to 58 degrees um and so they are not warmed no, up no. Like when I, I just checked the, the, the temperature as I walked over here, it was 62 degrees. And the high today is going to be 70. So we've been, and it's been going. But slow. these wines came out of my cellar right. that were at 62. Okay. So, uh, and that was about four hours ago. And so but their they, temperature they, dipped. They, they, we, had a, we had a dip. <laughs> yeah. It was like 45 degrees this morning. It was. But you know, it's, that's cold for an Arizona boy. It is. I'm still chilling. Awesome. All right, let's let's move to F, the, F, let's, F. let's is move the next to his. Okay. Let's uh move to this wine. F. All F. right, those two very good wines. Very, very good, very good wines. I uh, I would be you know, and what everybody's thinking right now is, oh my god, would my wine made it? By leaf. I got leaf. They they do call it fall. <laughs> they, call uh, fall. they don't call it fall because the leaves go back up. On that's the right. That's right. Uh, but uh, what people are I now are all wondering. If my wine didn't make it through, would it have been better on a colder day? <laughs> We're Ooh, never going to know. That's a great question. <laughs> We're not going to know. Yeah. All those wines were based off of a very of a warmer day, and these wines are based off of a colder day. And so uh, colder uh, equals less flavor, which means the flavors you give me had better be very exciting. Well, I think you're going to like this one. This one is more like <coughs> GGG than it is CCC, I would say. From a brightness perspective. You are telling the truth. The, whatever leathery notes are there, but they're super far back. So whatever these wines were most likely based off of, what's giving us those powerful leather notes. Might not this be one, there. no, 
It's there. Is it? Okay. But it's a background blender, and your yeah. analytics will tell me. Yes, it will. Uh, I can't, I can't because Martin's been typing all these uh, <laughs> things in. Um, but actually, I'll, Sherry's been. And Sherry's and been. Not, I've been. Sherry's been dealing with most of it. I've been actually trying to stay away from it so I could be a little bit more objective. Yeah. And I'm not going in for. Um, uh, uh, but I know for a fact that this wine has some of this in it. Um, and okay. it's giving me some of those leathery I can't wait notes. To check that. But what they've done is they've been able to balance those leathery notes. Mm -hmm. And most likely when you bend it, most likely when you blended these wines, they were not this cold. So these leathery notes were something you probably did not have. Mm -hmm. Because this one's got those leathery notes in the finish or on the finish of the nose. Um, but I can tell this wine's brighter mm -hmm. and has more energy. I like to do this thing where I kind of suck air through the wine and then let that hit me. And wow, this one was just much more open than the other two. If that makes sense. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I don't have the vocabulary it's, yet. It's brighter. Uh, it has higher acid. Uh, those darker notes are definitely restrained and it might be due to temperature. Yeah. This wine has a lot more flavor and character. That These finish, two are fantastic. Going, this one has a longer going, finish. Yeah. Um, it'd be very interesting to go back and see what I said about this finish mm -hmm. um, because this one has a really long finish. I think this is one that I tasted with you <coughs> Wednesday. Oh, was this the this, was this you on the... I think so. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to look, but this just, I ha there's, a, there's a familiarity with the finish. All right. It's funny as uh, it is is building on that leathery note to me, mm -hmm. where I didn't get it right off the bat. Uh, the leathery mm -hmm. notes building in a very but, nice way. But this wine has a wonderful complexity. Mm -hmm. All right, let me. Uh, that was the F. Let me get back on the. All right, again, we're gonna be splitting hairs. Mm -hmm. Let's let me let me see if I was if this these noses that I was saying weren't as exciting because they were leathery in the note. Let me see if we can get those guys back. And um, I'll give these guys a little bit of benefit of doubt. We're gonna give a little warmth uh, to this wine, see if we can bring out uh, some other uh, fruity notes. Um, and it'd be wonderful. Actually, what's great about this, this is something that I wouldn't have known blending normally. These leathery notes are something that comes out you know, five, six, seven years down the road. Mm -hmm. What I'm liking about it is I know these wines have some longevity because it has those notes. Mm -hmm. I'm just really curious if we can bring out just a little bit of some fruitiness because um, two to two and three days ago, I was not getting these leathery notes and I was getting a much more fruit uh, mm -hmm. aspect to the wine. All right. Okay. Gonna, uh, CCC go is the big one. That's the big. That was a super leathery leather bomb, <coughs> if you will, that we were talking about in the in the, in the first one. Uh, so now it's opened up. Martin, I'm sorry. You know, it's about, okay. It's okay. Um, I'll try these right, later. Don't right. you worry. What's happening now? Yeah. And we have to save these because these are going to go on the next rounds and stuff like that. What's happening now is those those leather aspects are moving a little bit farther to the background okay and that's bringing the nose up for me because now instead of being this one was the big that leather was, leathery yeah. leather yep. look what happened here oh the nose and went to five the nose went up oh it, it is that, that nose is a little closed yeah. off uh with that but I'm still getting tons of leather on the finish. So it's not helping the finish out with more okay. fruit. Okay. But the nose is definitely. And you can go ahead and jump in there because we're gonna get I'm gonna get yeah. fresh glasses on the on the next one. Oh wow. I see what you I see what see, you're saying. See, there's not it's still there. It's there, but we've yeah. got some uh nice mm -hmm. fruity. Now this one I'm really interested in. This one I think is gonna pop a little bit more than this one did. That's just my guess. No. The um, leather went down, but the fruit hasn't come up to okay. equate the how much leather went down. So this one had a more interesting nose because they had leather, 
but now the fruitiness isn't making it quite as exciting as that one. Gotcha. Yeah, this one, this one definitely stepped up in the in the beginning and mid palate for sure. So I'm going to definitely give me a little plus in the finish. Okay. I thought the finish was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That one's um, didn't come up in the nose, but for me the finish bumped up a little okay. more in that. Nice. All right, and I'll give F. Uh, the benefit of the doubt of some F, more, F, F. some more love. Oh, all of these are so good. Yeah, this is all way. splitting hairs. Oh. We would have all enjoyed these yeah. wines all night long last yeah. night. So good. Dang it! All right, this is one of those toughies. All right, so tell this us about what happened with FFF. We didn't get more fruit. This still, one, like, this we're one had, still we this no one fruits? had more fruit yeah. than the others, but as this one warmed up and opened, we didn't get more fruit. And I was hoping for a little more fruit to, even though it was more balanced mm -hmm. up front, I wanted this one to become more balanced and have that leatheriness go to the background. Finish this, finish. Okay, the nose did the same. We're gonna leave that there. But the finish actually came up for me mm -hmm. on this one. That's very interesting. As I was just saying this two seconds ago, tough, the finish was. Because, yeah. yeah, you got, yeah. see these, yeah. these are, these are tracking very similarly again. Yeah. yeah. These, the, I, I can't wait to look to see what the, uh, what the blends are, but these are similar, but different. I, I don't know what it is. I can't wait to see what the component is. Uh oh, uh oh, G G G G G G. That is the winner. Bravo! Well Fantastic. done, G G G. Well done, nicely done. The nose was the most integrated. The middle, so many everything letters. that I wanted. Good tannins, good structure running through the palate. Uh, hard one to judge. Uh, we had some, we had some similarities here, which is a little crazy. Where uh, when I was looking at the other, uh, you know, the ones from the tables. Uh, you know, we had some variety, mm -hmm. bigger variety. When we see the analytics, I'm going to guess that we had some dominant notes in here that gave me all leather notes. So I could either decide I liked it leather at this moment or throw it out. Throw the leather out. I've got two to judge from. All of them had leathery notes in there. Mm -hmm. um, if the analytics prove me wrong, the analytics aren't right. <laughs> uh, so there's my. Uh, so there it is, folks. He, there. he threw down. Um, and then I usually have my wines right next to me ready to go, but we don't because we have to get set up. Yeah, we've got to. Because take a little minute uh, what and, we're going to uh, do is we're going to take uh, five and five. We're going to stay rolling. But mm -hmm. uh, what I need to do is I need to take the winning wines and then we're going to pair them up together. So we're going to take region. Uh, uh, we're going to take the left bank. Yep. Region one and region two. Yep. And then I'm going to judge those two against each other. And then I'm going to take region three and four, and I'm going to judge those together. So I need to go find the wines that I'm going to be judging. Mm -hmm. So give me about three to five minutes. I don't know how we're going to let you know that we're ready to go, but give me three to five minutes to get my uh, region one and region yep. two winners mm -hmm. together. And um, well, we've got to take a break so we're not here, too long the, anyway, right? For Facebook and the YouTube. Here's the um, here's the GGG. We know G -G -G. that's the winner. So that one's gonna that one's gonna stay up here. Yep. So that's gonna be judged uh, here shortly. Judged. Um, no, it's gonna be judged gently. Lovingly. Lovingly. All right. Uh, give Sorry. us a couple of minutes, and I will be ready to go to drudge region one, left bank, and two. Both of those winners next. Yes. Looking good. Right. One, I need two, fresh right. glassware. I need makeup. Glasses, makeup. 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 Hair, <laughs> lights, something, <laughs> powder. Give me just a second. Let me put these wines together. I'm going to uh, enjoy another sandwich really fast. So if yeah. anybody wanted to sit down and just yap for a minute, you can yap. I think I'll people. just wrap if you want to. Um, get so, off so, so there we go. So, um, Sherry, what? Sherry, uh, region I'll one, down, what Brady. was our winner? I'll share with you. Oh. Uh, this has been so fun. This has been so fun. It's been a wild ride. It, it has been, been a, a roller ride. coaster no, of excitement. Yeah, yeah. That is true. Um, when the internet just the died, no, because that fog it. rolled in. Yeah. And that's just the way it goes. Just, that's California. <laughs> that is California. Tomorrow's going to be hurricane winds. So uh, yeah. 
so and then they're going to turn off the power. So. And I'm sure that's going to affect the nose of the lines. Uh, you know, the hurricane winds <laughs> makes it very difficult because as the line is blowing across your face, it makes it very hard to judge. Yes, it. yes, yes. It's it's true. It's Little true. things so like that. Just added degrees of difficulty oh, from uh, from California to you. Mm. Oh, there is a perfect. lot going on in the chat. So these two uh, the are going head to head. There is. Uh, there's good and times. There's uh, a lot of action out, from the back section, the as the Beastie Boys might have said. Sorry. Would you like to cleanse your palate with your earlier glasses? Why, that's a here. great idea. I should totally cleanse my palate with the and champagne. And I'm going to have a little. I'm going to have a little more. Martin, yeah, actually, Martin. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. I can't. I can't. Do that. Darn it. Uh, these wines need to be judged. They're moving through. Fine. We're not. Can I please have that real quick? You may have the G. Yeah, not not any more of that. No worries. We understand. Judges, judging is very particular, and I almost broke the rules. <laughs> and that's okay. Because rule breaking is what you're all about, sir. It's true. It's true. I, We've been breaking thank rules goodness since he caught 83. Me before I did it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But you know what's not against the rules? Yes. More champagne. More champagne. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. I'll, I'll leave it. I think it was mine. I'm, I'm hoping it was yours. I thank you, sir. So. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't Brad's. He would not let me near. So this is a good time to refill your glass. That's get right. yourselves ready for the excitement because now we got left bank, both the left bank people. Then we got the right bank coming together, and it'd be like a TKO, bam, <laughs> and somebody gets their name on a bottle. Wine knockout. Thomas. I like the Martin and Grady show. You know, it's been a long time since we've done a mutant. It has been a long time. Uh, we could do a mutant while we're waiting, I guess. <laughs> but can we do a mutant with a Russian accent? Oh, so. see, now you're asking see, that's, for it. That's a lot. That's that's a that, lot. You're asking for a lot. In the, in the, well, when we act it out, we could. Well, it sure. Should, but in the, in the one word, in the is, beginning uh, thing. Yeah, that's you know us old talking. improvers, we don't like uh, a lot of people uh, making new things for us. We like to do stuff we've done for a long time. <laughs> So if we could just stick to the oldies that goodies, because that's the, ones the heart that of always improv. Work, <laughs> let's do the same thing over and over because it worked that one time. That's right. Until people like it, oh. and that never really worked, did it? <laughs> oh, looks like we have a little buddy and Buster on the TV right now. Yeah, I'm loving. Cheers it. Oh my that. God, that's Kevin. Right. Kevin. So so we ain't Grady got a lot of money. money. That's right. May look ragged and funny, funny but we're having yeah, a lot. Singing a song side by side. Yeah, we did that on stage back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, yeah. at the Orpheum Theater back in. Uh, God, it was the we actually did it in a real theater. In a real theater, we did. That was a real theater, the Orpheum. That yep. was really nice. Liked it. Liked that a lot. Ah, uh, Charleston Street. That was good times, man. Those was good times. good times. Lots of fun things. Uh, people dancing. I, I'm not a good dancer, but when I was dressed as a lion for the Lion's Last Roar. Yes, you did. You did do. A I dance. did dance. Yes, you did. Um, it was not a good dance. It was not a dance you would want to see uh, without a lot of it alcohol. It was not the sugar plum fairies. Uh, Let's well, just say that. <laughs> there, was, there, was there were plums plumbing. involved. <laughs> there were plums, but none of you wanted to see. Thank God I had a lot of fur back then. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, those were the good days with uh, dance motion. Oh my God. Back in the day. Yep. Oxymorons. Oxymorons so doing things. comedy. Yeah. We were funny back in the day. We were. Now we're just uh, funny looking. Yeah. Oh God. That is that is so the truth. I really should have like done something with my hair today, but I think all the running around um kind of put it on end. Yeah. It's uh it's it's been a day. I mean we it has we been were dealing with fog and chill. Fog and chill and internet and issues. Microwaves not working. Microwaves were not people microwaving. On hold. There was there was gnashing of teeth. There was national um, team. There was customer service. There was driving. Or, or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot driving. of fun. But thank you guys all so much for hanging with us. So now we're moving into the uh, the two region finals. Yes. We're going to pit left bank, one, two, three, mm -hmm. against four, five, six. And then yeah. we're going to pit right bank, mm -hmm. two, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's who and is then, going to win. Could be you. After that, then we'll bring it all together. And I think we're going to maybe tell people what their codes were or email them out so you know where you were in your table and if you made it out and all that's that right stuff. and then i'm pretty sure we're going to be emailing you the blend so you can actually make the winning and Absolutely. or other blends if you have wine any wine Plus, left over i'm and sure you can taste it yourself the, right the, how cool uh, is that crazy analytics that we'll be doing where you know how much malbec was used how much of the orange how much of the pink we'll break it into pie charts and then if you want the full spreadsheet 
Uh, yeah. You can download that too, but Brandy's going to make it all snazzy. It's yeah. going to be all pie charty. I think it's between Sherry and Brandy, we are going to have some amazing fun. Really fun because yeah. this is the first year that we've had these analytics. Oh, it's the first time we had time. Is it? They actually did take a bit of time. That took to a lot of time. But here's the fun thing. We were the doing it because this that. time it wasn't all just in one day. We had a whole week so we could we could analyze, we could crunch these fun numbers and put them in the system and then decide, you know, how much orange was used, what tables only used three right. of the blends or right. which tables all didn't use a particular color. Right. What's so, the average of the t all the tables? What's the average of just the winners? Very different. Super exciting. And I, I actually really want to make a, a blend of the averages and see if those are. Super I would tasty too. too. Uh, bring all the averages together mm -hmm. and then see if we make something really spectacular. Uh, kind of like find that bell curve uh -huh. and seeing where everybody meets in the middle. I, you've got to have somebody in this in this in this uh, group out here's got to be like a super wizard in math, right? There's got to be at least ten math at wizards. Least. So if you're a super wizard in math. Please, we're going to send you we're the data. We're going to send you all want, the data. We want extra super. And you can super. extra crunch it. Yes, we but want extra crunch. we're going to do crunch. the fun stuff. We're going to make some pie we charts. We want to see your abs. That's how much we want you to crunch those numbers. Those are, that's some serious crunching. <laughs> that's more crunching than I did all through calculus. <laughs> that's, I think that's more crunching you've done than your entire life. Ever. 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 I did four crunches total. Four, yeah. Yep. Four in the last. Since 1983. Yeah. Oh, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Uh, uh, uh. How you feeling, Brad? Close, I'm, Brad? Feeling, I'm feeling really good. All right, Let's we're going to give it. the floor I think back that to Brad. We need Thank to get you ready. for the uh, floor. Then, um, the other thing that we need Choose to get ready ready. for, yes. which is really important, yes. is that... Um, go ahead and uh, pop, pop out Pop over. There. You got pop it, over. homie. Uh, so the thing that we need to get ready for is that uh, people are going to know what their codes are. Yes. And so um, I'm going to need to have those at the ready. Perfect. And I can the hold them up are. and you can run them down. No, you're going to be here and running them down with me. So what we need to do is we need to uh, get the rest of the codes posted. Got them. So that yep. when we get to the end, you'll know who let you were. You know uh, how things were going uh, throughout the uh, throughout the time. So see I need to get the codes reposted. So Perfect. everything else is running on time. Yep. I think that. Uh, let me see right now. I don't know where are we at. We're at two something. We're a little yeah. bit behind time. Just a scotch, but, but you know what? I'm feeling good okay. about it. And it, it, it's all right. So um, I am going to get ready for uh, region one. Beautiful. And region two head to head. So that's the left bank. Yes. One, two, fighting it out. Yep. And then that'll go against right bank. I'll need some, uh, I'll need some <laughs> fresh, fresh glassware. Glasses. Thank you very I love much. It. I believe these are all perfect. I can, perfect. I'll take you two. That's nice. Great to meet you. Uh, then we're going to bring Randy in for this I judging. Think Randy's and then Randy's coming in. Gonna, and then what we're going to do for you is that you're going to judge on the next one. Nice. And then we're going to bring you in at the very end. I love it. Uh, to actually, what does keep you for the next one? Because that'll be that'll be perfect. That'll make it easier. Um, I like that. That'll be that'll be good. So we've got another um, one of our original winners is going to come in and uh, help me uh, judge this next round. Love um, it. I think we're doing pretty good. Everything is coming together, and it's all been delicious. It, these blends have been fantastic. That's the, that's the deal, is that they all have been absolutely fantastic. And I'm really um, I'm really pleased with the fact that uh, uh, these wines uh, did change with the temperature. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to change with the temperature. And when I talk to you guys about, why is my wine um, different? Because I added 1% or 2%. All right, you guys all got to figure out why one or two percent makes, makes a difference. A huge difference. Why is cellar temperature important to your wine? I'm sorry, room temperature in Phoenix, Arizona is not the same room temperature as it is in Minnesota. Temperature of the wine is crucial. So we were blending, or we were not blending, I was tasting your wines on warmer days. More mm -hmm. juicy, rich fruits sure. came out. So if you've got your wine very cold and the wine seems closed off to you, let it warm up a little bit. Um, if the wine smells like alcohol and is uninteresting, the wine's too warm. The only thing you're getting is alcohol. Mm -hmm. And that's not good either. And that is why uh, temperature on wines is absolutely crucial. Mm -hmm. This is telling a story that everybody needs to know. It is really, really important to have a wine at the right temperature. Uh, I used to live in Arizona. I, before a dinner party, I would throw my wines in the refrigerator for a little yeah. while. Uh, because what's gonna happen is that those high alcohol uh, 
the alcohol is not going to be burning off, so I can actually tell the, the what, what's happening. But you really want to have those wines somewhere between uh, 58 and 68. And it is a really, really important thing. Um, and so today is telling us that. We have a very cold day. And so all the noses that I had just two days ago are not as rich and mm -hmm. luscious. It was a warm day, but all the wines came out of my cellar. And so the alcohol right. wasn't evaporating quickly, but the wines did warm up. These wines haven't warmed up yet. Um, so we're, we're getting a little more restriction on the nose. So why are you, you ready to hop um, into the... Uh, I think we, I think I am. I mean, is it time to go... Uh, I think let's... Is it time to go uh, region on let's region? Let's do region to region. Let's do our Anna's, first region together. Anna's, Anna's shaking her maracas like they've Anna's never like, been shook. <laughs> 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 um, and she brought her own maracas with her today. She wasn't using mine. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> Here's a weird fact. Both of them had a yellow label. Interesting. Does that so, mean something? It means nothing. Uh, it means that uh, these wines both have a label that happens to be yellow. yellow. <laughs> uh, but, but we do have a, we do have left an, bank. We do have an HHH group one and a JJJ. So left bank consisted of tables one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you don't know if your wine is one of these wines. No, not yet. But you will. Very shortly. At the end, we'll let you know all the codes and how it all came when, out. When we go head to head, uh, we will let everybody know. Does anybody have any other um, critical questions? They understand they're not going to know whose wine it is until the end. They understand that we have double quadruple blinded these things. Yep. And everybody knows what wines they're blending with. All right. Uh, in the next couple of seconds, if you have a, uh, a critical question in there, uh, please let me know. Throw it out. Anna There's will let us There's several folks know. volunteering to do statistics and analytics for us, which is super statistics exciting. Statistics and analytics. Thank you, statistics and analytics people. Yep. We love you geniuses. You, what's really cool about that in the corporate world is that, uh, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what that pays. <laughs> we will, of course, take care of you guys if you bring me some fantastic things. All right. Somebody should have fixed my hat in... Oh, your hat the, looks know, fantastic, dude. Seriously. Complexion. Complexion? Spectacular. Rosy. Very Looking cheeky. Good. Do I feel good about it? I think I feel I good about it. I think you feel great about it. You know, this is where it really starts getting Actually, exciting. do me a favor. Yes, sir. Um, I just grabbed these randomly. I don't know which one was table two, which right. one was table, or excuse me, uh, region one, uh, region two. Just flip them around. And I'll just pour you different ones. And then I will read the label. After you taste? No, I'll read it. Oh, okay. I gotta I gotta put it on a card. Oh, that's true. All right. You wanna start with HHH, sir? Then that's the deal. Here we go. H H H. H H H. Oh my god, that was that's not H H H. This is H H. That is close enough for government work. No, going. it's not. Yeah, it is. This you is would not, remember. This is not the Health and Human Services. It could be. <laughs> Total failure. Sorry, guys. Brad, it's never a failure. You're the winemaker. There's no, no failing in winemaking. Health and Human Services, 2020, the Close COVID. Enough. The Close COVID. enough. Well, it's in your head. What? You can't help it at this point. All right. All right. Are we feeling I have it? I cleansed my palate. Yep. I have had a delicious sandwich. I have... Uh, cleared my mind of all the things that have been going on and now I'm the ready to thoughts. judge these two wines uh, based on each other and um, this is the time for these wines to uh, lipstick and lip sync for their lives. Come on, let's do it. All right, we're starting with HHH. Here we go. Looking good. Boy, I'm there's doing, a lot of beautiful smell. I'm doing this one differently. You are? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do, homie? We're going side by side. Let's go nose to nose. So tell you what. I just did that wrong. Yeah. Here's JJJ. There so we go. I'll what drink is it this over one. there for? Don't. Great. You took that along. Here we go. There we go. All right. Now, we'll do them. I was going to say. Head to head. Would you like oh, my God. These wines smell the same. Smell exactly the same. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Would you like stickers? Can everyone put a sticker yes. on? Yes. Oh, stickers. Yay. So we'll do a red. A red for JJJ. Right? 
And then for HHH. Perfect. We'll do yellow. Loving it. That All right, here we good. go. Look at them swirling together. Super exciting. HHH. I'm putting a J, J on my J, J. H on there, J on there. You, know, you can't beat that J one. J on here, J on here, and J on there. I think that I should uh, them at the same time. That's fun. Let's I like see what that. We do. I like that. So we're going to start with uh, nose. Yep. Oh, that, that HHH has that juicy, juicy nose. There's some difficulty. Wow. Well, mm. JJ Gay, Jay, give me some delightfully earthy notes on the top. Which of the two would you call richer? I mean, and again, we're splitting hairs, but... Richer is uh, the JJJ. Because there is that earth kind of coming up in there, huh? Just darker notes. I'm getting darker cherries, darker mm -hmm. plums, uh, a little bit of earth, where I'm getting uh, brighter fruit, um, but but a really wonderful interaction on the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, it's bright fruit, but it's it's uplifting and there's some sharp stuff. Um, really nice. Wow, real, real nice. Holy smokes. They're both so, and that's the beautiful thing. We're bringing all these uh, different notes together and they're all interesting in their own way. Okay. Whew. Okay. That's unfortunate. Both equally fantastic. The nose is, right noses. now, they're nose and nose. I've been waiting all week to say that. Oh, my God, Grady. <laughs> well, I don't think the color isn't even uh, a consideration right, right now. Right, at this point. Uh, so the color is, is a winner, baby, all the way through. Um, these noses are very different. Both enticing. But both really fantastic. Boy, this is going to be a rough one uh, because, again, we've we've, 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 we've we've narrowed it down to just the best of the best. Both of those noses are a five. I can't. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm not fine. They're they're There's what, no what, fault. This, is, this is what I'm super happy about is that they're different. Uh, the thing that's making me happy right now is that these noses are different. This one's a little bit on the darker, richer side. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit on the lighter, uh, fruitier side. Both are giving me something that's exciting. Love it. Okay, I guess I should taste it. Thank you. Are you getting any chocolatey notes on either of the noses? I thought I picked up a little subtle yeah. hint of some. Um, If you did, that's great. Yeah. Uh, they might come out as the, as the wines warm up, but I'm not picking up any right. chocolate notes on either one. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. Holy schmoleans, kids. Nose is getting more exciting. Mm hmm. Ready? You're going to warm up the wine for me? He is. He's such a good dog. Elegance, subtlety, mm -hmm. nuance, mm -hmm. a very long uh, retro nasal on the uh, finish. This wine is, is mm -hmm. developing, it's got some things happening. Yep. Those tannins really. Come at the back of the palate. Delightful. But they're not aggressive. Not they're at just all. Just good. Not at good all. tannins. The acids are good. They're brightening up. This is where we're getting some of those brighter notes. The acids are very nice though. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. I'm actually getting some nice violets on the nose now. Uh, this nose is really opening up. I like it very much. Okay, you can eat some little pulled pork there, little Freddy dog. What a good dog. Freddy wants to help Actually, so Actually, now this one's opening up. I'm getting uh -huh. some brighter, uplifting yep. notes here. It's definitely changing the, just Both a few of these, moments. they're just getting better and better as they're wow. uh, opening up. Well, you can see why these are semifinalists, because they are just crushing it on every metric. Wait a minute. Are you saying that they're crushing the competition? <laughs> I might have been saying that. That's weird. But I hadn't seen I think it on a shirt somewhere. I think that's what we wanted. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're bringing it. We're getting it. I wanted to see we're some getting crushing people. We're seeing some crushing. We're... These wines are crushing it. They are crushing it. They are. And together, it's like Hulk Hogan and uh, Crazy Randy Savage, mm. uh, just like in the ring, crushing I'm thinking, I'm thinking it. like Butterbean or something like that. Um. <laughs> wow. Loving both these wines. Both mm. these noses all day long. Love them. Love Killer. them. Killer. Uh, as I was pouring them together, they're, they're not identical. Thank God. Way to go, great. Okay. Beginning. Yeah. Let's see. One more time. So you back on to JJJ. Higher acid, higher mm -hmm. tannin. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting some aggressive tannin in the mid palate. The mid is where the tannins really kick in. We're on this one. And I'm back at the palate. I'm I'm missing the fruit. Yeah. The tannins are just if we were judging jumping. if we were judging for uh, longevity. Mm -hmm. This one might have it over this one. I would yep. have to really think about it. But what's happening is the tannins, as this wine is warming up, yep. are um, interfering with the fruit. With the fruit, which is so interesting. Man, there, there's a lot happening here, but. Um, you're right. Um, those mid palate tannins are starting to interfere with the, mid, with the finish. This is where, you know, I, I struggle because I'm the future wine me, those tannins, I understand them. Mm -hmm. And there are four or five months in the barrel. And then this wine, the, those tannins will relax and sure. the, those fruit flavors will come up. But at this moment, but we have to they're judge striking. The moment, right? It's at the moment. And I'm judging this wine that I'm missing some exciting fruit flavors yep. in the yep. mid to the finish. Where, where this wine, where this one, it's continuing all the way through. I haven't given my overall opinion on this one. Maybe All right. one more time. All right, let's do it one more time. I know. I know. Slightly more fantastic. <laughs> We're talking degrees of difference here, guys. Wonderful, bright fruit. Yeah. But the tannins are moving up right now in my palate. Mm -hmm. And those tannins are, I know that they will give way to fantastic fruit flavors later but, but right now there's one that's that's hitting me very strong in a very positive way okay um it's uh hhh hhh -H. there it is Kids, it's H H H Left Bank, Left Bank H H H, and who will H H H be going against? We will we'll know find here out very in moments, shortly. in literally moments. And then, um, wow! All right, uh, so for our next uh, regional challenge, yes, sir, uh, we're gonna bring uh, Randy in. Let's do it and see what his palate is yep. like. And then we're gonna bring you back for the grand finale. For the grand finale. Oh boy, see you in two and two. Might be four and four. It could be ten and ten.
Uh, so does anybody need like to keep these for posterity? The we're looking pretty good the over there. The All right. Um, and then those two wines are over there, correct? Beautiful. So I'm yes, gonna take H H H. I'm gonna put it over here. All right, sir. I'm gonna put J J J. And I'm gonna put it over there. Let's bring G G G. And then, um, can I get two more stickers? Yes, sir. Coming right two up. Two more fresh glasses. There you go. There's some nice stickers. Because we, you know, we don't want. Thank um, you. I'll come get those. We don't want those dirty wines to. We um, do not. To influence us in any way, no. shape, or fresh form. Glasses over there. Yay. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, we'll fly in Mr. Randy and I'll leave him the pin. So we got the G's. Yep. And then we got the, and the M's. M's. Okay. Hello there, sir. Oh, you got oh. new stickers? Oh. We got stickers. Yeah. We're good. Right. Come oh, on here, home styling. <laughs> what? Four new labels? Yeah. These people are on top of it. No, staffing is looking good. Does this so, make me look fat? I'm just saying. Pretty much. Are we still alive? Most likely enormous. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do this for you. G, G, G. Elephant time. And then we're going to go <laughs> M, M, M for you. Can you handle that? M and M. So we got these two. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, the region that you that were in. So, so you were not in this region. Nope. Um, you were on... Uh, 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 table region. two in the other region. So mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and pour them. I want to do them side by side because I really enjoyed going nose to nose, middle to middle, finish mm -hmm. to finish on that. So yep. is that okay if we do that for you yeah, as yeah. well? And then we'll do a yellow over on this one. And then we're going to do a, uh, a red over on this one for you so that we can do them uh, properly. Side by side. Is that okay? Okay. So, so what we're going to do, so what we're going to do, I know it's an orange label, but we're talking about the M's. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the left side. We're going to do GGG. So on your left, which is that glass there. Is GG. And then yeah. my cards are accordingly. And that works out perfectly. Excellent. We do want to try to get all these things right. We don't want to accidentally give the wrong person the win and have to take it away from them. So, okay, I did Not that like one. Not like the beauty pageants. Did that one right. No, no, no. That's happened before. It's this one. So I watch all the beauty pageants. All right. And then our next one is the uh, M -M -M. the M's. The Super M's is going to go on this side. There Bravo. we go. Bravo. Okay. So uh, what we're doing is, uh, since this is the first time you're in here helping me judge, it is about helping me judge. I just want to have your impressions on the wine. What do you feel about, um, what do you feel about the wine? Uh, as far as its deliciousness, the nose, and all of those kind of things. It's kind of hard not to look at yourself. Um, that's why he doesn't have very many mirrors in his house because uh, <laughs> otherwise he'd I be have a lot of mirrors. stuck. A lot of mirrors. Oh, that's right. He'd be stuck looking at those things. So Are we tasting these side by side? We are. Shall so we I, I would say if you tell me your impression of the nose on this one, please. Okay. By the way, we know mm -hmm. how everybody has worked so hard at these. We did too when we did ours and it was so much fun. All right. Ooh. So the impression of the nose. I want to know who the surgeon is. The what? nose is perfect. Oh. It's delightfully playful and rich at the same time. Don't you think? I was talking about those leathery notes mm -hmm. um, on those last few and pardon me. The uh, this one does not have it. This one has some richness, it has character, it's got subtlety, it's got nuance, it's got everything that I'm looking for. This is lovely. Uh, in and out is beautiful, oh, well-rounded, right? Uh, it's just, oh. I, I feel like I'm drinking it just through the nose. And, and we are, okay, wow. That nose is perfect. That is a really nice nose. But none of those leathery characteristics that I was talking about. Wonderful fruit flavors, rich, um, berry basket, running through cherries, nice. Berry basket? Yeah, not just a berry <laughs> basket would be if. Um, no, I agree. I just never thought of describing a wine as a berry basket. More than more than one berry or fruit. Oh, where some of the wines berry. I've been describing earlier, oh, this is more cherry, this is more plum. Yeah. This one's got a really uh, nice complexity about it. And oh, I've judged this wine before, and here's what's crazy, people. Temperature. 
The temperature probably has raised five or six degrees since we started. And this wine is developing just a beautiful nose. I'm not getting any alcohol uh, no, on the nose. No, no. Okay. All right. We've given that one enough. Let's see what M smells like. Okay. Let's smell M. Mm, Auntie M is not too bad herself. That's <laughs> Having never bad. smelled Auntie M before, but... Um, this is a lovely nose as well. Okay, we've got a huge competition right Actually, now we do. on the nose. These two wines. You know what? People gave it their all for these. You can tell. They totally did, didn't they? They did. Um, this wine, slightly more subtle, a little more nuanced, and has just a bit more comfort. Complexity. Just, I mean, this is a, this is a, I would describe this wine as a little more brash. Wouldn't you say? This is the one that walks into a party and says, here I am. Yeah. And it, it does have a little more cutting edge, right? Where this one, uh, doesn't, this is the one where, well, well, this one doesn't need to say here I am. No, it just, you just know you just, she's you arrived. Just, yeah. You just know she's arrived. This one, um, yeah, this is tough. Wow. Both of them. This one's a little fantastic noses in different ways, and 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 brash, harsher, it, that, that it, aggressive, is what this one. This one's just a slightly this more aggressive. A little more. This one's a little more sophisticated. This one's a little more aggressive, but both are really no, they're really nice. It just depends on your mood. It is kind of depends on the. Mood. This one's hot. Everybody gave it their heart in these, and you can taste it in each and every one of these. Strong I cherry. love, yeah. love, love this one. Strong cherry. Uh, I don't think it's... You know, every time you say cherry, they drink. That's why, that's why I'm over. It's, it's, why, it's, why, it's, it's the way why things are going this way today. Nope. I'm going to start saying, I'm going to start saying watermelon. <laughs> I don't know who these blenders are, but they're absurd. They're absurdly wonderful. I would order these bottles all day long. The I'm, finish on this one. What are you thinking about? The no, finish? go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. I think it's a little more. Mm, this one finishes with fireworks. This one finishes with soft candles and music. Okay, those are some descriptors. What do you think? Um, and either I think both this of them one's, are beautiful. I think this one. Uh, I think that the GGG, the one on my left, is a little more integrated, and and the subtleties and nuances uh, go along with the palette, and it is giving me um, beautiful notes from the front, the beginning, the middle, the finish, and I'm not getting any uh, offs, and I'm not getting any. Um, uh, not getting too many highs, not too many lows. Fantastic all the way through. You describe this one as brash. It is a little more intense on the nose with this slightly more complex. And I'm, I'm getting a little more ridge. The, the finish is a little more rigid. Yep. Yep. Like I said, this is more of like a fireworks finish. <sighs> oh, but it's dang hard. It. It's hard to tell. Oh, my God. What do you think? You want to arm wrestle for this one? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> but whoever <laughs> are these people don't want to be to arm wrestle they them. They don't want to see finish. all that because we know how it's going to end. <laughs> Him going to the emergency room with a broken arm and or, uh, you or, losing because you took his side. Or I could punch you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> So whoever the blenders are for this, I, I kudos because this is a tough one. All, right, all kidding aside, he is correct. These wines are They're well. Head -head. It's, it's what we should. It's what I what I would expect. Um, these wines, no flaws, all fantastic. And now it's just about the impression at the moment, not about what it was uh, three hours ago in the morning, no. not about um, what it was. Two days ago, I keep testing. He's talking. I know.
I have a winner. But my, what I picked doesn't matter. Brad is the expert. I'm trying to see all these little. Eric and Debbie, are you listening? Oh, I'd like to throw kudos out to my blender, Debbie, who's like my sweetheart. And to the wall, to the, hey, you know what? Explain to me what's going on with that wine one more time. This one? Yeah. The nose. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Your opinion means nothing. Finally. <laughs> this is how it was all through my life. <laughs> Just a short 14 years. Uh, did you expect this? That's this exactly the one? that's the one I would comment. To. Even though he had things to say that we didn't want to hear, <laughs> uh, his opinion was still correct. Uh, we both have chosen uh, GGG. GGG, you're a winner, baby. And you're moving on to the next round. This is good. It, they're, this both is great. So no, they're, they're both great. They're both they great wines. Ahead. Both great, great wines. Okay, my friends, we are so close. We are getting down to the final round. Woo! I think that's what people call the grand finale. Uh, so many great things are happening. So many, gosh, dang it. I love you all, babies. He keeps talking, but you all want to hear from me. <laughs> Everybody get ready. Put your seatbelts on. This roller coaster ain't over, baby. We're coming to the grand finale. And uh, between these two. Yes, sir. So we're going to have those ready to go for me. Um, and um, just one quick, uh, quick question. Should we let people know? Uh, what the original people are right now, or are we going to yeah. go to the very, very end? It, it's up to you, Brad. I mean, if you want to do a little thing as we reset, Silence! it might be fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, dude. Seriously. Everybody keeps... Oh, these people keep droning on and on oh, and my on. God. The answer is, oh. you're not going to know who the winner is until the grand finale. Nice. So, yeah. in a couple of minutes... We are going to tell you who the grand finale winner is. And then after that, we will tell you where you ranked in your table. And if you won or not. If yeah. you were, well, actually, your ranking was all fantastic. Sure. But if you were the winner baby of your table. Sure. So uh, we will tell you who the table winners were. Um, it'll become uh, very apparent as these wines are going on. And uh, the crazy thing is, is that you guys have me on film judging these wines all the way through. Um, I'm not worried. Uh, I judge these wines based on what they were in front of me. And gosh dang it, every single one of them was harder. That was hard. Those wines are so fantastic. Really um, but don't forget Miss Congeniality. Oh, yes. We will have a Miss Congeniality. Um, actually, speaking of Miss Congeniality, uh, we do have a, one of the little things we were judging you guys on. I wasn't just judging you based on your wines, but I was judging you on your Mercury Pride. <laughs> and uh, your Mercury prowess. And did you wear your shirts? Did you not? Did you have 15 to 20 cases displayed behind you uh, <laughs> while you were blending or not? And uh, if you guys want to go back, Randy was table two. Randy had maybe 15 to 20 cases of Mercury wine uh, displayed behind him. And so... They're tossing things at me. Sweetie. So uh, Randy won on decor. And John. Way and John. to go. Way to go. Randy and John won on decor. Thank you. And, thank you. Um, I'd like to thank everyone. And then on decor, um, Eric and Debbie Woolman. Uh, came in second with their two Sago Palms. Yeah, uh, oh, Debbie, I love you. Excellent Eric. placement you know you of your Sago Palms behind you with that beautiful fountain. <laughs> but don't forget Matt and Lisa with a with a Matt vineyard. and Lisa with a vineyard behind them. Thank way you. to go. Way to way to buy a fifty five thousand square foot house with a vineyard behind it. <laughs> excellent that way was, to go there. Great. Uh, we'll decide on what you guys are going to win because you bought a house that's 55,000 square feet and it has a vineyard behind it. Uh, but if you if you were um, creepy surfing uh, everybody's decor, uh, Randy, gosh dang it, uh, with all that mercury wine uh, displayed in, um, behind. Oh, little um, me. Yeah, I know. You did a pretty good job with that. And actually, uh, despite uh, my feelings about you, your descriptions... <laughs> 
on the wine were actually spot on. Um, the, the, the hate yeah. uh, and stuff is all set aside. You actually judge these wines very, uh, very well. Uh, your description of these wines was excellent. And so thank you very much for being one of our all-star guest judges. And uh, someone who is uh, coming first <laughs> 12 years ago, I think it's an earthquake. Uh, we've had Maybe, I don't know, maybe that was pg and &E, true to my power off. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, but guess what? Everybody needs to stay tuned because guess what's happening next? The finale! The finale. It is the finale. So I know that GGG stays in front of me, me, me. Yeah. So this one stays here. If somebody could please so get need Great, great, great. Come yeah, on, Yeah, Grady's going to come on in. Uh, what was the other winner? Uh, could, if somebody could please tell me. HHH -H -H, uh, was the winner. Well, you know, uh, these uh, shouting out of lots of letters is exciting, but uh, <laughs> all we need is two winners. SPF. So we only need two SPF. winners. So then I know that GGG just won. And then and we I'm need another sure winner. It was. There, we there, we there we go. No, no. no this yes, because this, this is the final. So we have HHH as the second winner. And we would like some confirmation if somebody could re go back. HHH I'm gonna, oh, here we go. Yeah. I've got it right here. Brad's got it right so here. I've got this right here. We have HHH, which was left bank, and we have GGG, which was right bank. There we go. So we got left and right coming together. Excellent. Bam. All right, all right. Um, it's like Dragon Ball Z. All right, those wines uh, were amazing. I, 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 I know. We're I'd like you. You've said it a million times. You're splitting hairs, but gosh darn it. Those hairs are There's, important. They are. They're they are incredibly important. Those tiny, tiny definitions. This is a huge deal. You guys worked so hard. Brad wants to make sure that he is getting every nuance, every subtlety, every do I? note on the nose. I do. You do. Yes. You care so much. I'm gonna go uh, red and, and yellow. So we're I gonna think go that's ahead. A great and, idea. That, we'll go ahead and we'll put do red and yellow. Uh, Thank GGG. You. So we're at the end. So yep. we don't make a mistake. I don't so want to make GGGs any mistakes over here. So I'm gonna put that on your first Thank class. Thank you, sir. That's the G's. Go ahead and put a yellow on this one. All right. Perfect. All right. We're getting really down to it. Uh, this is this is getting really exciting. exciting. It has been <laughs> such an incredible ride, uh, and I've never had this much time to enjoy the wines. Usually we're rushing it through. You guys make the decisions, but today, Brad, we're rushing. They're not in the only the slightest. Possible trying to get way. them the blends back to them and all that kind of we stuff. We do, we do. We're trying to um, make sure it's fun for everybody, so that they're not, you know, like bored out of their skull while Grady's making the is, blends. This is just awesome. This is you know pretty what? awesome. Uh, the tables are just they're they're just tasting fantastic. Every single table. Every single, actually, the individual tables we tasted together were yeah. so incredibly fun. Each one had such a diversity of flavor. And we're talking four wines Except here, guys. Except for the table 10 or 11. That was the one that everybody was almost, they, they were, were just very like identical. Crushing it. They were, it was, it was really, and no, everybody the crushed it. Come out, just that those guys were, those guys were all had some just amazing blends. That was the one where I think that we were looking at the analytics and, yeah. um, you know, uh, five or six percentage points literally there. We're, we're making a huge difference on who actually won. So, um, and that's what's fun. So, we look at those analytics, we're gonna make some pie charts. You know what else I need? What do you need, homie? Since we're about to crown somebody as the winner baby the winner. of our 2020 crushing the competition tour, hashtag Mercury Wine. Um, I need some champagne. We better have some fresh champagne. There might be fresh. some in the fridge. <laughs> we need champagne to fresh crown glasses. the winner because we're co we're coming down to the wire. Because I do want to. This is. It. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what oh, I normally don't do hair. with this bottle. I know. What do you need? Chug it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but don't twist it. It's just the top, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, we need to get some champagne because you guys should get some champagne. And get ready, um, kids. you know what? Uh, we've had some really awesome happy dances as we've crowned winners before. We have indeed. Uh, we probably should have had drones come to your houses uh, to take a peek at but your you know window. What? On I'm what thinking you're there are for. enough people here, they could all come back and dance when we announce the winner. 
This is awesome. Everybody oh, who's yeah. here will have to come back and dance behind us. We eyes to be popped out. Thank you very much. The winner's that crown. Is oh, these are perfect. All right, we have gotten everything um, set, everything ready to go. This is exciting. My palette's been reset. Palette is ready. This has just been awesome. This has been unbelievable. And it's been tougher than I thought. I thought you would just be blowing through stuff, crushing it, knowing exactly what you wanted, but everybody brought their A game. Every table was a really difficult choice between which four we're gonna move on. Those are all some true statements right there. It's been amazing. Thank you guys. This has been an absolute blast. And to see so many of our friends from across the country that we haven't seen for so long, this has just been a treat. It's been an absolute treat. Thank you all. Great job. Yeah. Lockdown has sucked. I, it has. Because we don't get to see our cool all your friends favorite people. all the I know time. that a lot of you guys uh, use us as your uh, vacation spot and you can't right now. Um, let's just hang in there. Let's keep working Soon. hard at, you know, uh, not just Wear crushing the competition, but crush the vid. Hell yeah. Uh, because dang it, we need to get back to regular life where I can see you guys again. Exactly. But here we go. All right. Oh my God. I can't believe we're already here. Martin, is this the music you want in the background? Is this the song that you like? Is this the best because, song? Because uh, Martin no, Niner, uh, as you know, is a great blending person and, you know, working behind the scenes and has been here as a tasting partner with me. Yep. But he also is uh, the leader of this fantastic bang, 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 bang junk. Or, or band called Junk. And we've been uh, cruising junk the to, bang. The, to the junk. Uh, this is the one you want for the this grand is finale? Called, yes, is more fun. This is yes is more fun. Yes is more fun. So when I say yes to your dress, it is, <laughs> it more, is fun. more fun. <laughs> That's right. All right. Here we go, guys. Gigi, are we going to do a side it. by side like the finals or are we, we have straight to. up? We have to. I think so. We I have like to that. go. We have to see we what the nose is like. We do. We've got to get them head to head here, kids. So this is a red dot. This is H H H. H H H. I know I'm going to switch around so I know what I'm doing. It's G G G. I'm sorry. You are you are messing with me. I was about to say you are fracking with me, but we are we not adding fracking, water. Of course, here we go. All right, here we go. To our water table. GGG. This says GGG. Grady is a GGG. I wonder if that's why this one went through. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to have to take right. this to Supreme Court? We shall see. Well, you know, the Supreme don't, Court is that, those yes, people. Yes, Actually, those are the people who will be judging us. Here's the and deal. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Here's the deal. It doesn't go to the Supreme, the Supreme Court when the lower court rules. I will Against rule. it. <laughs> this is the deal. You're, you're I the will, ultimate court. I am the, it, there is no there court. There is no court me. higher than Brad. This is already the Supreme Court. <laughs> there is no court higher in the land then Brad's super duper amazing taste Palette. buds. Yep, his uh, taste buds are the highest in the land. Checking out what you guys have done. All right. All right, D here we don't go. Don't care about the color. No, we know the colors are gorgeous. The colors are in there. Don't want the preconceived notions. Don't care about preconceived notions. Let's just start with this. Nose. I'm turning this around so I make right. sure that I know exactly yep. what I'm up against here. Let's start with GGG on the nose. Here we go. First of all, Smells like uh, wet towels that these have been dried with. Oh, that is not true, sir. That is the truth. Let me fix these wines. Hang on a second, guys. Somebody's not done the laundry around here for a while. Well, you know, it's been a long week. Bro, a up. long week been of up. excitement. Bro, up. A long week of We're going to do this again excitement. because all I could smell was uh, a dish towel. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. I'm trying to keep things clean, but you know how it goes. Well, we're polishing the glasses quickly. We are. We're trying to make sure that everything's awesome. We're trying to have fun. But um, a nice Dawn scented dish towel is not what I was looking for. All right. You know, <laughs> it would be an interesting blend, but probably not the blend you'd release. There we go. <laughs> all right. Are we just drawing this out? Actually, maybe we're just drawing this out for excitement and fun. Because everybody likes Antissa. Nice patience. patience. Thank you. What may be the rage? It's never to blame. 
I'll relieve the cause. But not a symptom. Well. Starting with GGG, is that correct, sir? I am on the GGG. Oh yeah, G. That's me. And that does not remind me of. A that does not give me any display. freshly washed disc towel at all. Come on. Wow. Wow. That nose will wake you up. It certainly that will. That is things going on there. So you guys much listen excitement. to me. Aromatics are so important, my brother. And aromatics are king. And these both have stunning. Mm luscious, rich aromatics that you totally expect from Brad's wines. What's interesting now is normally I, I would find a striking difference between the two noses. These two both have rich, juicy fruit going on. There's a big difference with this nose on the finish of the nose. We're getting a little more earthiness on this nose. Mm -hmm. We're getting a little more brightness on this one. They do have very similar qualities. Qualities. But this one rolls out some earthiness, mm -hmm. and this one is bringing us some brighter character. No? Yes? Maybe? Absolutely, yes. Dish towel. But you know what no was fun? Towel. You know what's fun? Is they both start strong. They both hit mm. your nose with excitement. I'm going to look to my analytics people. <laughs> like, am, I, am I crazy on this nose? This is uh, G G G G Versus and H G G G G. I'm I'm getting a difference. Um, I'm loving them both. They both have richness, character, and complexity, but my H H H has a little bit of uh, earthiness uh, to it. They are so different; it's not even funny. That makes me happy. That's good. The blends are radically different. They are similar, though. According to our uh, analytics people. Wait a minute. We just got from our analytics people. We got radically different, different yet totally yet, yet similar. Yet totally similar. No, no, no. How the is that? Similarity is that they're both. I don't want to know anymore. Right, right. I don't want to know stop, anymore. Stop, stop. I, just, I don't want to know anymore. All good. Oh my lord. Different but wines, but we we have we have a uh, we have I've, the similarity is these are three. We wine blends. Is that right. correct? My analytics. Right. So we don't have any. My fours, analytical friend has given us. I have come to the conclusion that a three wine blend is what uh, is making it's me happy. It's kind of happen. key, yeah. I have five wine blends, the Rocket. I have four wine blends, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That does not mean anything, but this is just what we've got today. This is all we know today. Tomorrow's a different day. I'm still jiving on both of these noses, though. Yeah, day by day. Oh my God, both of these noses. This one a little bit brighter and fruitier. This one a little bit richer and complex, maybe? Maybe. But, but richer does not always mean complex. That's correct, sir. Oh, All right. Man, ready. these noses are fantastic. They yeah. are. Super happy with both. I am very happy with the way they're both going. And they get the your brain the primed with excitement. On the front of the nose and the back of the nose, and I, I, I've been, I've had my chops busted, and then, uh, but when you guys are smelling a wine, I need you to do this for me. Everybody's busting my chops and be going sideways and up, up and down, both nostrils, getting the, getting the shotgun effect. If you go to the side, you can kind of dig in and get a little more. It does make a difference. Holy smokes! All right, that was very nice. These noses, uh, obviously, are winners because they're here. Because <laughs> they got this far. And you know, I this told you, the best part. it's all about I aromatics know. for this one. All about the aromatics. You got to give aromatics. me some other stuff, too. But if there's no aromatics, well, there's stuff. Then you're not, not even going to start. See, that's the thing. If you're not even going to start, why even bother? So if you don't hit him with the beautiful nose, and these are two elegant, delightful Why are you so nose. violent? No yeah. hitting. No hitting. There's no sex in your violence. Mm. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Let's I'm dig in. The tasting. I can't even believe I'm here at this point with Brad tasting the two greatest wines of 2020. This is exciting. That is. Typically, we send them to Africa at this time of the year. Because then I can do some good work. I can build some pumps. Make us feel good. 
I'm giving a high. High. Woo. Both are making my palate very happy. <laughs> if, you could, if you couldn't hear the gallery that it said silence but i gotta keep talking because these wines uh what's really interesting a little brighter and fruity a little darker and richer mm -hmm. uh they just crossed paths this one's uh for me appearing a little brighter and fruity on the yep. palate this one's a little darker and richer on the palate totally which Thanks, one's man. annoying which one's not we will find out, though. We're not going to switch them. Frack nuggets. Jim, Merry Christmas. This is a big deal here. That's a, that's, that's a, I'm shocking that such a fine wine made it to the final round. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? What's fun about this one is sometimes mm. the subtlety and nuance is going to win out instead of boldest of the day because everything's happening at once during the normal blending party, but we've had all this time to really explore the wines and they have been exciting, spectacular. The cage is off. Uh-oh, Brad's getting close. I can feel it. Maybe somebody else should say that line. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that came off as a touch weird. I'm so sorry, Mom. I certainly hope that mom's internet is down. Yeah, I'm hoping that mom has horrible internet today and is missing this one. She's in the garden. She's harvesting. Putting up the deer fence. Crop. Pulling out the that merry berries. Just, I, I would say choose your words differently as we describe these wines on the next one, please. You got it, sir. Oh, man. Holy smokes. I know. I know. I know I've picked these wines. I know that we've gotten here. We uh, came here through but a long what's what's really history. kind of exciting is that we've got two wines that, that that do have some differences. So I'm not judging these wines aren't two wines that uh, taste identical. Uh, these wines actually have some different characteristics. Grady. So this one's a little brighter and fruity on the nose. This is a little Did darker and richer. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in there. This is bright and fruity in the nose. Let me see. This one I found richer in the palate. Let me, yep. let me check out what the palate's up to. Check it out. Is that wine all Brad? 3 p.m. Thank you, Siri. It is all Brad. It's all Brad from front to finish. Hmm. All right. What is this it guy? It reminds me of, it re actually kind of reminds me. And I don't know. I don't know if I, is. Should I say? Wait a minute, Gladys. Gladys. I'm right here. Uh, would you please play a little like uh, violin music or something? <laughs> we're we're going back in Grady's memory banks. So what have you got to say? <laughs> I'm getting a little heavy metal. Am I completely off base on that? Grady is now subversive, and I'm deeming him a uh, communist party. <laughs> who so is trying? I will be taken out back. And somebody shot is trying in five to minutes. influence the election I'm right trying. now. I'm you trying. just picked one of my wines, and how am I going to go against one of my wines? What are you going to do? So this one's the this one's the messenger. So now, oh, this one's the messenger. Chinese communist party, you're out. Silence from the Chinese Communist Party or the Russian Communist Party, whichever communists you hate the most, you're going to go ahead and silence them. Um, Grady, you were just massively influenced my I know, opinion. I know. And so I, we need absolute silence from now on. Everybody else can talk, just Grady. That just put so many things in my It brain. did. I and know. That was, that was unfortunate and wrong. That was unfortunate and wrong. I've got to get that out. I know. I'm I need sorry. to judge these wines based on what they are. These wines are not a wine that I've made. I, I made the wine, but you have made the blend. And yes. this is not my I blend. Just, I just drink so much. Oh, this one tastes like the one that I really screwed up on and nobody bought. Oh. I remember that oh. now. <laughs> No one's. That's not happened. <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna. We're gonna. All right. I've got to. I've got to. I got to get back in. 
I've got to, I've got to get into the, I've got to get you into the wine. Want me to and, tell you what and this then one Grady here. Me? No, uh, what is? <sighs> yes, Are Grady. You go ahead and tell me what this wine reminds you of. Father. No. There's that no. suppleness. No. There's that richness. Where again, we're talking <laughs> bold and expressive. No, this is what we're versus... talking about. Silence is probably what we're. Silence yeah. is better. Silence is what we need. Oh my God! Totally the thirteenth father. Duck, I know, duck, dude. Yeah. I know. I'm telling no, it's you. No, not. <laughs> it has no cab franc in it. We already told you. I know there's, there's no, no cab, cab franc in there, but there's that suppleness, like an old shoe that you love so much, and you slip your foot, and it's like ah. This is what is so exciting about live TV. Is that we're gonna can't really, kill me. really try? We uh, <laughs> yes, or I could. You could, which would make for great TV. No. <laughs> You're going to tell me it reminds me of lot one. Oh, did it just taste? All right. Grapes. Uh, all right. Now, with all those things uh, aside, uh, seriously. No, back back to total serious. No more opinions, please. Uh, no opinions, sir. No. I won't say anything. I will only give you what I wrote down no. on the card. No more opinions. You've given them both. That's all I need. Oh, man. You kids crushed it this year. Crushed it. The competition was crushed. It's really weird. My eardrum keeps hearing stuff. Silence. Would you like to look at my notes? Nope. I won't say anything. Nope. No more influences. It's all to Brad now. This is it, kids. Okay, we're at. If you, if you, if, if, a little more slurring from the back, Brad, what are you talking about? I always get slurry in the background. So, so rich. This one's got this, this wonderful nose. Yes. It's rich and elegant all yes. the way through. What I'm liking about it is that it gives you an uplift of cream. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it. Now it's getting really fun. Now it's really getting fun. This one's a little more spicy. Uh, running through the middle, the spices are there. Not getting any cream on the nose on this one right mm -hmm. now. I hope that if you guys go back and watch me judge that I, I maybe said there was cream earlier. Uh, this one might have been one of the wines that had all that earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. These wines are warming up. I think we might have made it to 68 or 70 degrees here. Yeah. These wines are opening up. They are getting more expressive. So we're actually getting the better wine. The ones that were closed off when they were cold sure. uh, had enough aromatics to get through to the final they round. Did. Um, these wines, now that they're opening up, I'm getting a, a completely different complexity. Um, I know for a fact, I put like four or five wines through that were, uh, very, um, leathery. I am not getting that leathery nose right now. This again, if you guys walk away from anything besides subtlety and nuance and a couple of percentages make a difference. As this wine warms up into what I would say the correct temperature, which we know that it was probably 58, which is a cellar temperature somewhere that we don't care about nor live in. Uh, this wine, I live in more of a 70 degree, 70 degree. This is more in the 68. I'm going to guess this is 68 to 70 degrees. I have lost the earthiness of that leathery nose, and now I'm getting these wonderful fruits that are coming through. I know, dude. I'm enamored slight, with both of you. Slight earthiness. More fruit, mm -hmm. spice. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
chat are dying. <laughs> I know, it's like the longest drum roll ever. That's what happens with old age and thin skin. <laughs> there will be no tie. There will be a winner. There has to be a winner. These wines have enough differences in them that I can pick a winner. Yep. Don't. Let's I'm ready. Go. I'm ready. Let, I don't want you to feel bad. Fine. You can do it. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> You're a big help. You just have to sit there and look while I'm not saying anything. I am holding. I was going to hold the cork and pop it at the perfect moment. People are dying here. I have, um, all right, guys, these wines are different wines. I've made my decision. They're both absolutely fantastic wines. I would love to drink. All of them have been. And honestly, splitting hairs on the table wins mm -hmm. was hard. It was really hard. It was but crazy hard. Splitting the but then splitting the, the table winners Right, even even more finer, even more difficult. This, this is this is unbelievable. Um, we have had the most amazing blending extravaganza experience and experience ever. Again, my joy is watching you guys blend and creating your own blends, and I sort of judge them if you ask me to while we're here. Uh, but getting to actually taste all of these blends Every and see blend. what I'm missing when I'm making a blend, we have got a stratosphere of flavors out of these four wines. And uh, truly, this is an emotional experience for me because we have had some incredibly diverse wines, fantastic wines, linear, more nose, less nose, more finish, these two wines have been able to uh, cut to the chase and almost impossible to choose uh, between them. But I have um, I have made my decision. Yes, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I've got to know. I have ruined my bubbles, but I love the pop. I got to write it down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yay! GGG, you're a winner, baby. G -G. You have won it. You yes. have won it. You did it. Woo! Yeah. God. G -G. That Dang was it. a long time. So down, many baby. these Good two job. wines. Would well, love to ball. love to drink yeah. them all. Do you want to say table winners? Do you want to go through the whole thing yes. first? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's go through the we'll whole thing first. We'll do that, winners. and then we'll tell you who is the actual winner. Winner. So, starting with table one, group one, we had Charlie and Sarah. They were G H. Did they move on? Actually, they, they did. did. Yes. G H. So they were the winner. They were the winner of table one. Right, are we gonna? So everybody else. So Bob and Susan, you were P N. P N. We have uh, Jennifer. You were Q T. Q T. And John and Becca, you were B K. And then uh, table two. Yeah. We had uh, John and Randy. They were A B. Arizona we, Alchemist. And then we had uh, David Z M. We had, and then we had Happy uh, Campers. Anna and Joe for R Q. R Q. Matt and Matt Lisa. And Lisa. Uh, JV. JV, but the winner of that table was AB. AB. So as you guys are watching that, we've got uh, a winner, table winners uh, right here. sitting over here. 
And then we've got uh, table three. We have Eric and Debbie. They were BC. BC. We have uh, Tony. And then that Savannah. was the uh, Savannah. That was the uh, DD. Uh, we're just going to go with their names right now. Then Beautiful. we have uh, and then we have Kirk. And then that was L.Y. And then we have Nico and Andrea. And they were AC and they, they on the winners draw, for table And three. they were winners of uh, table three. I don't have any right, more here comes uh, piece the next of paper in front of me to read this. But are we going to actually tell these people who won? Well, eventually. Before we go any farther. Oh, I can tell you what everything is here. I need to see who GGG is. Can you just tell me that? Who GGG is? I, that, that, not here we go. I want to know who GGG is. We're just going to give the right. person the oh, we're gonna, we're gonna give oh, away. Oh, who the winner is? The actual winner. I know who the actual winner is. Do you? Is it, yes. Is it said here? Can you, yes, I will. Can you show that? me that no, the actual winner is here? Who are those people? I don't even know if these people are club members. Oh, that's not true. GGG won. What was their table code? GGG was table code ZU. So you came out of table 11. 11. So table winner 11 was ZU. And we have something that's never happened, happened before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a two-time no champion. No way. So if you were a champion and you were in table 11, your name would be, let me see, Brian and no Aaron. Way. Aaron. No way. Lily. 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 The Lilies win for the second time in a row. Our first two this Peters. This is our first In 11 feet. years. Yay, Lily. I think wow. in the 11 years, they came in second four times. They really did. <laughs> One once. And now have come back for I a am blown repeat. Away. I am blown so away. So this is super exciting. Do you want to know who HHH was? Who yeah. they were up against? The second place winners. Who was that? HHH, we're gonna love you too. We might love you, but Let's you see. might be. Can uh, I, see I will HHH? tell you. Can we see it? Oh, you want to see it before I announce yeah, it? Can we see it? I need to know. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know. <laughs> We've had previous winners on Both. came to the finals. Oh, yes. OMG. The previous winners who, who won nine and a half years ago. What? So Randy and John Are you kidding me? Oh, were in the finals. Oh, came down to the end. Oh, you, the the Lilies. Lilies, I picked your wine because yours the, was. Well, wait a minute. He, he, Randy was judged judging. His Did you judge? Competition. I judged. No, oh, you judged the own. competition? Yes. I, get, I picked GGG because I said it was candlelight and soft music. Oh, my God. You know, Brian and, Early, and Aaron, you <laughs> remind me of candlelight and soft music. So <laughs> Lilies, you, you, Lilies, can, you can blame you the win. Great. You can actually blame the win on your competition. <laughs> he no. picked you. It was a beautiful. Wow, you. Well, came you know down what's funny? You know what's funny? Awesome. I voted table eleven on the second day and chose theirs as the table winner. GGG. Wow. GGG was the Lilies. Lilies, we wow. love you. We can't wait to see wow. you when we can all do this again. Together. This was amazing. Holy cow! Cheers to GGG. So, Absolutely. Brian and Aaron, thank you so much. Obviously, uh, you guys are amazing. Two-time winner. Two-time two winner. You're the first two time winner. Winner. The first For one. The first time. You're like the Lakers from All the right. 80s. This, oh is, this is fantastic. And then, so that you guys know, uh, Grady's going to go ahead and announce the rest of the um, table um, codes so you so you can know how you fared uh, through it. You're going to read them off. Just go ahead and uh, read them off. off. Thing. Okay. okay, everybody needed to know who it was. So if you wow. want to know where you were and if you won your table, so Grady's going to finish off with a left bank table, table uh, four. four, group two. All right. So uh, Piddly Noir, uh, Jeff and Trisha, you were KZ, uh, John and Deborah, uh, Urquhart, number one, you were HW, uh, Diane and Thomas, you were Urquhart, 
number two. For those of you who don't know, it's an old castle somewhere in um, somewhere Great Britain. Somewhere in Somewhere Island, yes. You were PH. And then Holly and Nathan, you were actually winners. You were JB. Winners from table four. So JB moved on. Table Way five. to go, Holly. Actually, what's so funny is some of your good friends won last year. You That's were right, right there. Nathan the, is, has know. his name on the bottle. I know. For you this were right year. there. You got through. Which God is the most bless important America. Part. That was close. That was close. All right. Table five. Uh, Mike and Harrison Nixon, uh, WAP, Wine and Pizza, LN. Claire and Jill, MK. Um, and actually, uh, MK was the winner of that MK table. MK did win that table. And uh, just real quick with uh, Claire and Jill, um, for those of you that really want to hate, they won a table and they won and the 15 liter. And they won leader. the 15 liter this year. So, <laughs> so you guys were go, amazing. And you got to get out of your table, which is we all know is crucial and very hard. So Malini uh, Bueller was OM. And then Austin and Jill, the dump buckets were WX. All right, table six was the Carico team, Stan, Walter, and Carrie. You were CF. Stephen and Tim, Bush and Ruiz, you were XF. Benny and Dan. Way to go, G Tim. The Geyser Villains. Oh, our chillin'. hometown crew. PG. And then Michelle, the Tennessee tribe, was VS. Um, the winner on that table was XF. So the Bushes and Ruiz moved on. That was XF. So, 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 so close. All right. Um, Next up. All right. Right bank. Uh, table seven, group three. Sam Phillips, the monocle crew in Florida. Lots of sassy people at your table, by the way. So sassy. Super sassy. Mm -hmm. uh, GK was your code. The Poodle Doodle Duo. I was calling it the Woo! Poodle Doodle Do. Close. <laughs> Very close. Jesse oh. and Eric, they were DM. They were DM. Uh, Scott and Suzanne Rone in Texas were UJ. And Andrea Cloutier was FR. But the the, the winner of the Doodle Doodle Doo of that table. The winner from that table was DM. The Poodle Doodle Duo. Great job, great guys. Great job, guys. Awesome. For your first blending party, great job winning your table. Yeah. Way to get in there. We had a lot of uh, previous winners uh, rolling in the second yes. round. So as a uh, first time attendee and getting uh, to the finals, way to go. All right, table eight, the Drinker Bells. Nicole Morin, UV was your code. Murray Bannis, GB. Great initials, by the way. Um, and then Larry and Marianne, they were called Matlet. Uh, the Tenorios, they were YW. And then Pet Sounds, Brian and Ruth Wilson were HH. HH. And HH was the table winner. From Way table to go, eight. HH. Right. right into the winner round. Table nine. We're getting close, guys. Here we go. Tal and Rachel Klein. Unsalted was the team. SX was your code. Uh, Mags and Roach, OP. Um, then we had Blendhemian Rhapsody. Uh, the Tran Taylors. Nice and they clever. They were GW. And then uh, hashtag Wino in New Jersey. That was Agnes. And that was YY. The winner from Table 9 was actually our crazy Michiganians, Tal and Rachel. <laughs> Way to go, Michigan. So you won your table. Way to show us a good mitt. All right. And then the other right banker. All right. Table 10. Our Zoom goddess. Uh, Claudia and her boyfriend Emilio. Thank this you amazing. so much for your help. Day one and two. Way uh, to go. You, you, two happy horseshoes. Uh, the Kitzners, James and Brooke, were AE. Uh, Burke Dunphy, Bay State, Bay Area, TH. And the Hendrickson's, our local geyser villains, uh, John and Carolyn, uh, R and B. The winner from table 10 was AE. The Which Kitzners. was the Kitzner. Awesome. Way well to done. go, guys. Table 11. The Lilies. Um, oh, grand finale. The big finale winners. I guess they we were, know who won that table. You were ZU. You won that table. Greg Miller. Very Way close. Way to go. CC. Kevin and Mary Bender. Wait a minute. Was this a table that made me cry? It was. All right. Was it, was, it, was, it, it was good. No, it was 11. Uh, it was 11. 11. Yeah, it was All so right. good. BW for Kevin and Mary. And Dan and Liz Osborne. 
Another amazing blend, X H. Getting out of that table, man, Rough. oh man, Rough. you guys had to claw and fight Ev to get out of that Brad table. Brad was on every nuance of that table. Ev it was good. Every one of those wines. And that's why Oof. one of them ended up being the winner. Yeah. So table 12, uh, Brandon, Team Braniana. Uh, Braniana. PK, uh, red blend for the win, Ian Myers, LX. We had Just a Fantasy, Zach and Leanne. You were EX. And we had Pino Rain, That's Julian and Jennifer, um, SG. And the winner from Table 12 was LX. That was uh, our previous winner, Ian Myers. Yeah, so we had four previous winners, uh, Rocking yeah. uh, and uh, uh, kicking some names and uh, doing some table action doing there. fun time. Um, Holy macro, wow. guys! Seriously, wow. so much fun. That was amazing. So many great Do you guys, wines. Any of you have uh, Aaron and uh, Brian's number? Oh, I'll, we'll, we'll right text now. them. We'll text them. Sure. They well, won. give them my phone, and we'll do it. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Not, uh... I can't believe they haven't called me yet. I can't believe they haven't called yet. We do have them on. We've wait never minute. had. Oh, they, wait a minute. That's the, wait. Oh, did I they already? Us? Guess what? Call them. They're calling us. Oh, well, no, they've already been texting <laughs> like mad feeds. <laughs> Oh, we oh, we've got we've got winning pictures. Oh, Look at them! Woo! All right, everybody, we've got our winners. Yay! All of you guys over there as Great well. Job. Our uh, first two Peter. Let's see. No one has ever won twice. Did you call them a two Peter? Years. That's weird. They are two Peters. Uh, <laughs> or a repeat. Can we? I would say it's oh, wait, a repeat. Well, we, have, we, have, we have Anna on chat. Anna's on chat. Oh, the oh, we have oh, not the winning the blend. blend. That sounds fantastic. Well, Let's I get them online. Let's, Let's find it. Hello. 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 Hello, winners. Uh, I'm going to put you on speaker. Oh, we've got video chat even. Holy mackerel. Um, there we go. Okay, we have our winners. We're going to give everybody their blend right now. All right. So Can you give the... us your blend or do you want Grady to? All right, Grady's going to do it. All right, so we start with orange, which we know is now Petit Verdot. Orange is Petit Verdot. Randy, simmer down. 15% 50 Petit, Petit Verdot. We had 70% Merlot. 70% Merlot. Which was yellow. And then we've got pink, 15%. Finishing up with what the was the peak? Malbec. There it is, a three wine blend. A 70 15 15. 70 Great 15 Craig. 15 is what Grady is saying. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you did a great job. You were the first ones to repeat. You did it. They I did know it. we've had a lot of people trying to repeat, uh, but you guys were the first ones to do it. Wow. Congratulations. The blend is fan. Fantastic. Way to go, guys. Do we have anything to say to the other uh, competitors? Yes. <laughs> this is where it gets saucy. We do. <laughs> oh, here comes the competitor. Actually, Randy, as the number one winner, is here. Wait, where am I? No, you're over here. Oh, hi. So, so Lilies, you know, we've always just respected your presence at each and every one of these contests. And we love you for your participation and your enthusiasm. And I was happy to be a judge. I think I picked GGG, didn't I? I think you, you did. I, I think we know. can go back and see. Your, yours was the candlelight and soft music wine that I selected. And you deserved every bit of this honor. We're happy for you. So happy. Awesome, guys. Yay. Congratulations. You did a great job. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. We're going to have to redo your, oh, your label. Yeah. I, I saw a champagne tears. <laughs> oh, no. no, those are champagne tears. That's a champagne cheers. So thank you guys very you much. You guys have to think up a new uh, label this time. You have to do something different than the Lilies. Right. It's another new label. Lily with a big two. A Lily two. Oh, that'd be so awesome. L squared. Oh. L squared. <laughs> L to the two. All right. We will figure out a new label for you guys. Of course, you will create it. The whole purpose of this uh, 
so that people can get their name on a label and call themselves winemakers. These folks can actually Woo! call themselves winemakers. Yes! And two-time champion. We wow. love you, Lilies. We wow. Do. So super exciting. This has been such a great day. And keep an eye on your emails because we did a lot of analytics this year. about What did you say to me? And 